Hello guys. Um, sorry if I'm too loud. I will just make myself a bit more quiet. Hello, uh, yo, yo, yo. Uh, how are you uh, today? Um, guys, uh, we have... <laughs> We have some some cool things uh, prepared, I think. Uh, my sound seems, seems a bit odd, uh, don't you think? Like, I think that I'm really loud. I don't want to blow up your ears. Um, so tell me if something is not uh, right. I'll just put the music a, a tad bit uh, quieter. Uh, I sound sick. No, I, I'm not so, uh, I'm not sick, my friend. That's actually my normal voice. No, actually, um, I've been tinkering a bit with my mic settings uh, to just give it a bit of my normal voice. <laughs> so this is actually not my sick voice this is my normal voice um, so yeah <laughs> you're too quiet music's too loud okay i'll just i'll just put the music even more quiet um but i think you can hear me uh pretty wait uh scorpion you are late no nah, you're not late i mean you were well okay you were late around 60 seconds so um anyhow um so guys i actually have a few things first of all say good morning to youtube or uh, good evening mm, so uh <laughs> so that you know uh every time after the stream i just pack this whole thing out and put it on youtube so that you know for everyone it's there um i know that there is a ton of uh guests here today so i wanted to uh just spend a moment to welcome you all guys uh first of all uh, i already see our uh, fantastic reds with us uh, starting of course from ayano ayano is our ui producer and she's also our moderator she is um, you know uh, uh slamming the ban hammer when she needs to however we really rarely uh, need to uh, to be honest with you um, then we have chivok uh, chivok's our customer support specialist uh he is just pestering about all the issues that you guys mention so and thanks to him they're getting fixed very often um, and then we have miles miles is our level designer senior level designer to be precise our mind master um now today i also wanted to mention our new mod so uh kogito who has been with us for all that 20 streams i think because today is the stream number 20 uh which uh, kind of sounds maybe a bit crazy but yeah we have we have met 20 times for four hours uh, to play cyberpunk and talk about stuff uh, so uh, Kogito uh, is uh, our new mod he's helping um, uh, he'll be helping from this time on now uh, the thing is you can probably see that Sapphire is missing so Sapphire is traveling uh, this time around with her family and she couldn't be with us but she said uh, she what she asked me to send you guys um, all uh, you know warm uh, wishes and she said to greet you all so um, Thank you, uh, thank you for being here with us. Now, uh, this being said, this being said, I will now uh, switch uh, to uh, some things that I wanted to, um, I wanted to, <laughs> to do and mention. So first of all, uh, guys, um, we have um, some memes that have been sent in abundance uh, to me, which is fantastic, and I wanted to take a look with you and those memes uh but before i do so i wanted to mention so considering that this is a stream number 20 i wanted to do something a bit more special uh so one of the things that we'll be doing is i will also uh, i will stream an hour longer i know that for some of our especially our polish viewers it might be a bit late uh, already you know going to you know um uh, i guess work tomorrow uh for many of you uh, i i go to work too <laughs> but it's just normal for me that i stay late at nights um it might be a bit late so um i'm sorry for that uh but you know uh there's like usually we have lots of lots of viewers at the very end of the stream or like last hour of the stream um and uh there's like ton of people that are coming in at that time so i thought okay we'll just prolong a bit more right now it's just one hour we'll see how it goes um yes so the stream will be longer for one hour uh and we'll see you know uh how it goes i i don't wanna i don't wanna like prolong it too much and and um and <laughs> make you tired veteran wrote i'm at 2 a.m here oh cool uh that's you know <laughs> i mean uh, that's nice you know i mean 2 a.m is fine you know that's uh that's my normal that that's I'm, I'm basically not even going to sleep at that time usually but yeah i get you veteran that it might be a bit late for you it's almost 2 p.m here uh tyler said yeah exactly for i think for us it's a bit uh, better when it comes to the time uh, so another thing i wanted to mention i wanted to mention tyler so tyler actually has been working on the list of the mods 
and today like I won't be like streaming the whole thing but I wanted to show some things from the Tyler's video and we'll do it just after uh, looking at the memes uh, I think some of those mods are worth uh, some attention especially that I know that Tyler put a lot of work into that uh, mod list and we'll do that just after the uh, just after the memes so um, and afterwards we are play and we are going to continue um, <laughs> We're going to continue the Panam's uh, storyline. Yes, Tyler, bring me on. Exactly. Um, okay, so that being said, um, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, I, I honestly have to say that uh, this time around I spent a bit less time like sorting through the memes and so on. So I barely, rarely remember them. I really uh, prefer to uh, like, you know, experience it fresh, you know, guys, how it is. Just to see it first time. So, uh, let's see basically what happened this week. So, I'll go one after another. <laughs> okay, so that's basically apparently me excited behind the wheel uh, of the Torton, uh, Torton Galena. Uh, it's a cool meme. The, the, um, the Corgi, actually, Corgis are probably one of my favorite dogs. And, you know, shout out for Ayano. Ayano's, uh, Ayano's uh, Corgi is called Ace. Uh, and you can see him on Ayana's stream. Uh, she's streaming Destiny 2 in my recommend. You can find her in my recommended streamers and Ace is accompanying on a stream very often. <laughs> so yes, that's basically that's basically me excited in my Thornton Galena, uh, apparently. Uh, okay, so let's let's move on to the next one. Okay, the rise of Sasuke Sundays. <laughs> yes, so that's that's apparently us uh, reaching 10,000 uh, Twitch followers. Actually, I'm not sure if we are at 10,000. Like, I think we're like a hair below or something. Like, I, I didn't really check like that precisely, but you know, we are we are almost there. So, um, nice. Um, thank you so much, guys, for the support. Uh, it's really heartwarming, uh, and yeah. <laughs> It's really hard working that you guys are coming here and that we can experience the game together. So, um, it's awesome. Um, so, <laughs> it's, it's to 10,000 de more devs, lol, uh, Descartes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's basically, that's basically our goal for the stream, to just hit, you know, 10,000 devs. Anyhow, let's move to another one. Uh, oh yeah, stream audience when Pavel reveals a behind the scenes story. Yes, actually, like, there's always so many behind the scenes, the stories that they can guys tell you, and you know, like, every time when you guys, like, give me this, uh, like, question about, like, something, I just have to, like, walk this thin line between, like, NDA and, um, and, like, things that I can say. So, it's just, it always takes, like, extra 1000, you know, IQ, uh, brain power, uh, to just, um, decipher you know where i can actually walk that line uh, to just make sure i did say something uh, ridiculous uh but yeah anyway i uh, i will be I, I definitely love talking about like behind the scenes uh, stuff it's it's something that you know it's something that is i i guess rarely talked about and like some of those things are super fucking embarrassing and those are those are like the most um bitter wanderer uh book book rope oh pablo shema <laughs> yeah exactly um Anyway, um, DLC reveal stream confirmed. No, no. <laughs> what is the most embarrassing thing about 2077? I don't know, Tyler. The most embarrassing thing. Uh, uh, that is, that's, that, that actually would take some thinking, you know, to, uh, to figure out. Probably something that we left out and forgot about. I don't know, probably something like that. But yeah, that that would it, it would it's it's not that easy to judge. Um, our music is a bit uh, a bit quiet now. That's a close probing. Um, okay, let's go to another meme. Oh yeah, <laughs> me writing to my computer at seven seven fifty five p.m. CST on Sundays. Yeah, that's um, I'm running to my computer like hour two hours before, and also like a day sometimes two days before to just like prepare everything for you guys. It's actually funny because like on my private uh, like GOG account I'm very often like testing stuff you know like checking like some fixes or like improvements whatever we are doing and like uh, very often just on my like actual game that I'm streaming for you guys I have so much like illegal shit <laughs> that I shouldn't be showing so that's why I always have to like go back and be like holy hell okay did I like miss anything is there anything that if I will like show will be like on reddit with like detailed analysis of like why he has his game is like slightly different than ours so but yeah but i'm playing on a released game right it's just like what i'm having is sometimes like um 
things that are basically work in progress because I need to test or I need to like, yeah, I think the test is the best word uh, just to make sure that everything works well with a released version. So yeah, uh, yeah, Ziploc road. I can only imagine. Yeah, pretty much. Um, uh, would you be okay with me speaking with you when you talk about the mods so the proper people are shouted out and the mods are not misunderstood? That's a very good question, uh, Tyler. So the thing is, like, I do not consider myself a uh, expert when it comes to mods. I, I think you are way more knowledgeable. So I um, will just point out people to the correct sources and, and that would be it. Like, you will see, basically, because I'm, I'm completely aware that I'm a miss misjudge misrepresent or something and i don't want to uh do that so i'll try to be very careful with the way i i, I show it and i'll of course direct the viewers to your video and your list of the mods as well that you did in uh, google doc um which i think is really cool um okay then so uh let me let's move on to the let's move on to the next uh to the next one yeah sasco sunday questions uh storytelling trick book recommendations carrier advice idea generation and then there's this overgrown dude in the center when uh, with the question where is the dlc <laughs> so yeah um that is uh that is yeah, it's very apparent. Oh, and guys, the Muzzy's with us. Uh, Muzzy's our uh, Muzzy's with our acting lead, Art QA. Uh, great, great that you uh, decided to come over. Muzzy is, of course, a member of a red team. Uh, so uh, great to see you, Muzzy. Hey, guys. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> so 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 literally, I think I was like two days ago. I tweeted that I'm working for a retrospective for my team regarding like. Um, uh, regarding like the quests in general and like storylines and characters and what I want to do is like and I did it like with every project really and I did it like throughout like just after the release of cyberpunk as well but right now I'm able to do it like better because like much more people played the game uh, which we know um, and much more people like actually had a time to experience it properly also thanks to the patches and so on so I think the um, reception is a bit more um, how to say it not realistic because that's the wrong word, but um, I guess close to truth, I would say. Yeah, it's not skewed, you know, by the issues that if somebody had an issue with a bug or something that blocked a quest, it can really negatively influence the experience. So I think now uh, there's a lot of players that actually can assess it a bit better. Um, and yeah, there was like a, a lot of people just uh, answered, which I, I love. It's like 500 comments so far. Um, and I've read majority of it at this point. Um, so guys, I wanted to, to tell you, like, if you have any quests or any storyline that you really loved, uh, it would be great if you can just tweet it under my tweet. And like, it would be fantastic if you can actually justify your choice, because that tells me much more than just saying like, hey, it was cool because, you know, you know, because Pan Am or, <laughs> or like, I don't know, because I could have sex with Stout or, you know, because you you gave me power uh, deal to wield, you know, um, it's... Um, uh, I, I, it's fantastic if you can actually justify why you are uh, feeling in a certain way you're feeling about the about the quest and so on. So, yes. Um, Pablo, you should name which quests you were responsible for. I mean, Pablo, I don't want to do it, right? Because besides, like, whoever is coming over often to the streams, you guys know which quests I made myself. Um, there are some quests also that I co-created um, because that's very often, you know, in the in the team uh, that we very often like, you know, work together on certain things and so on. So, um, but I do not want to like advertise any quests. I want you guys to be real, you know. Um, how uh, hello, Pavel? How's your quest feedback going? Well, I mean, it's going pretty pretty well, uh, honestly. Like, there seems to be a lot of people that just have trouble to pick which quest they love. Um, which is fantastic, uh, but you know, like I, I want, I want like our quest to be, you know, the best uh, in the world. Like that's my goal. Like the the quest team and the narrative teams in in red. I want it to be. We want. I want us to be the best in the world. And I don't think we are there yet, uh, but I think we are crawling there. And I want to like detect and find the, like the weak links. Um, so to say, so like weak concepts, maybe elements of our pipeline, maybe moments when we are like dropping the ball and like address this, uh, you know, with whatever we'll be moving forward. So, you know, the, the learning is really, really, um, uh, the learning is really, really, uh, important. 
Anyhow, mm. uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There is a, there's a question. What was the context for like a clip about the about the cum? I, I don't know. Just ask Pablo uh, because I, I think it was either Pablo or Tyler who made that uh, that made that meme. So you know, and you have the authors here. Just uh, please ask. You know, they will know. Uh, oh yes, that's that's a, that's a really fantastic meme of basically just uh, the the jealous girlfriend meme. Probably one of the most historically, um, you know, uh, how to say it, impactful memes in the history of memeing. And yes, basically just we put like this hundreds of changes. Well, actually, actually it's not hundreds. Like when you look at the patches uh, in 1.3, it's actually thousands. So you guys have like thousands of changes in 1.3, and you just like get hyped about wet modes, which I can understand. <laughs> But honestly, it's just like a 1% of, uh, of impact versus like 99. Uh, so yeah, here we go. The, the roads are sweet. Yes, the roads are so moist. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Um, yeah, it's because the change is the most visible for everyone. Yeah. Cyber roads take me home. <laughs> yeah, Mazi, exactly. Okay, um, let's jump into another meme. Let's see what we have. Okay, so this one I specifically picked. Uh, Pinky Julian, Pinky Julian. I think that this is the this is the one that we is is for you. Uh, so basically, as you guys know, Pinky Julian is basically really into uh, Mitch. Uh, and like whatever whatever type of characters we are discussing on a stream or whatever is happening like just you know pinky julian is like just give me that mitch like <laughs> you know uh, just more of that mitch so yeah it was this one moment when we really had uh when we had uh, played the the scorpion uh when we played the scorpion uh, burial i i think uh, pinky julian had his uh moment you know <laughs> Oh yeah, that's some good shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyway, anyway, not advertising. This is a family-friendly stream, by the way. I'm not uh, advertising anything. This is clearly a salt or a floor, right? What uh, Pinky Julian is sniffing here. He is very. He's really into baking, as you all guys, uh, as you guys, as you all guys know. So um, <laughs> let's. Uh, oh, sugar. But it might be sugar. It's you know, like apparently sugar is not healthy. Um, salt probably too as well. So let you know that's 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 just floor. That's just floor. Okay, guys, let's go. <laughs> it's at the project that marketing in its best. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He made a uh, 2014. I don't know. Um, I think the entire river quest line is incredible as it pulls back the story as an intimate relationship and single person job. Most of the game feels massive in scope and consequence of corporate stuff and um, with corporate stuff and world defining people. But River is all about saving a kid, learning about the job and spending time with a family. It's such an incredible time, Tyler wrote. It's a it's a good point, Tyler, and I, I think like a lot of um, it's an interesting thing, you know, because like very often when I observe like discussions online, like a lot of people focus on the fact like, hey, you know, like, but I Panam storyline is better, right? Um, and I'm like, then rivers, and I don't know. Throughout like most of the production, we felt like actually that each of the storylines is like so much so different, like the Carrie storyline that combines with like. Um, you know, Samurai storyline and Johnny storyline is so much different than Rivers, than Care, than Judy's, than Panams, and also there are also other smaller uh, storylines in the game. But um, all of them are done asymmetrical, and, and and this is the way we believe the good storytelling is done. Um, and I mean, I I don't know, maybe like ten years from now, and I'll just learn a bit more about storytelling. I'll believe no. Actually, we were wrong, and it should be a quota kind of a way. And I personally, guys, really, I'm really not a fan of quotas. You know, so so by quota, what I mean is that a certain romanceable character should have one hour and 14 minutes on a screen. But when it's one, ha one hour and 12 minutes, then we have to fucking bloat it for these two minutes. Because, you know, some people will be unsatisfied. And I'm like, no. This is all about storytelling, it's about art, it's about feeling the character, it's about the vision for that certain person. And sometimes, yes, naturally, certain storylines will be different. That's why River's so much different than Panam, uh, Carrie, and, and Judy. 
I get the argument that maybe they are too short, you know, one are one are shorter than another, and I understand that. Uh, but in the same time, I was telling you guys uh, about the fact that some elements in the game, and I understand that you may not see it as a player. Some elements in the game are actually much more costly when it comes to producing them. And in the River storyline, those things are, for instance, brain dances. They were very important to make the intriguing, interesting interrogation, uh, sorry, not interrogations, but investigations. And because of that, it just eaten up so much time and effort. So this is very important to recognize. Anyway, um, let's, let's, let's move on. I don't want to delve too much into these uh, discussions, um, guys. So... Uh, <laughs> okay, so this is a meme. This is, a, I think, this is a punishment meme for me for like being overexposed, oversaturated. Like I think it was two streams ago. By some reason, my lights decided to be like so much more intense than like uh, in you know normal streams. But anyway, uh, uh, it's corrected now, right? It's better. <laughs> I hope you guys. <laughs> I think that you guys uh, see me a bit better. Um, also, uh, 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 and oh yes, and if, uh, thank you guys so much for the people that are subbing, uh, Seth H. Um, like, I'm really glad that you guys are subbing. This is awesome that you're supporting the channel. Uh, but please remember that you don't have to, right? I'm doing this uh, primarily for us, for the community. I want to learn from you. And I want you to see the devs' perspective, and I want us to have a good time. And this is why I'm spending my own sort of free time to do it with you. It's not for the subs and so on. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to make it clear. But thank you so much uh, if you're subbing. Uh, Shaft wrote, I feel if you had made the Roman storylines uh, lock you out of the other three months' storylines, the perspective of players just would have expanded exponentially. In fact, that you can do all four Romans as one playthrough is what made people think nothing matter. Mm, huh. It's a really, really long... I, I don't want to get into this discussion uh, right now because it's a really long topic. Um, we have done it consciously because we felt that in the cyberpunk world it would be fake otherwise. Um, and we have tried a different approach and it didn't work. And it was worse. And the version that you got is a better version. Um, is is more fulfilling, more interesting, I think. Because now it's pretty much your decision as a player that you want to get involved with someone rather than game artificially locks you, right? <laughs> thank you, Kogito, for gifting subs so much. This is, you know... Uh... Oh, and thank you, Ayana, for gifting subs. You guys are amazing. Um, thank you so much. The, 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 the thing is... Um, that I I imagine, you know, how it is in real life, right? In a real life, when you're in a romantic relationship with someone, does that lock you out? And, you know, this is not a lesson for anyone, right? I, I really believe that, you, we, you know, as a person, you should be with relationship pretty much with one person. Unless you are polyamorous, then it's a different discussion, but then everybody who is in that relationship should be polyamorous and should know about it. But let's say for the sake of simplicity, you just like dedicate yourself to someone, right? Uh, also just to have some kind of a depth in your relationship. But anyway, it's just in real life, it is your choice, right? You decide as a player. And sure, if you decided to just go with anyone and just like treat it as a computer game, sure. Like, you know, treat it as a computer game and, and do it like this, right? But it's on you as a player, rather than on us, that we just like figure out artificial way to lock you, you know? Anyway, anyway, um, it's a really intriguing and, and really long topic um, to to discuss. Uh, anyhow, um, <laughs> beep beep, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I guess the, that's the reference from Pablo to the to the Delamain, and because the hype train is coming in. Um, yeah, you, you just exactly just let's players have fun, and, and you did that exactly. The sailor streams. That was exactly the. Uh, that was exactly the idea. Um, Okay, uh, let's move on. Okay, so shout out for Miles. I don't know if Miles is still with us. Miles was here just uh, just a moment ago, uh, and that the, that's that was uh, that's really cool when Miles is here. I still I still see him, Miles, on the uh, viewers list. Uh, so Miles, this is for you. Look at this draft of upcoming level design leaked. You know, this is basically pretty much how I'm feeling every time when I just pass through the location and uh, there are some uh, mines, um, you know, left out. Uh, for me, like literally, especially inside the bushes, you know. 
So, oh, by the way, that's my grenade mug that I got as a present from uh, one of the viewers. Anyway, um, guys, let's move on because like we are taking a lot of time to discuss those uh, discuss those topics. Miles the bomber man. <laughs> that looks too easy, Miles. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Guys, uh, guys, by the way, I wanted to make a shout out for Miles. So uh, Miles is our senior level designer, like one of the the best level designers I've ever worked with, worked uh, together with. Um, I, I had the pleasure to work together with Miles on some storylines and some, uh, uh, I would say, levels um, for the game. And I was always a very, very amazing. It was always amazing experience. And I wanted to point you out to Miles stream. Miles is actually my recommended streamers. He's called Toast Spender because his surname is Toast, so it's Miles Toast. Uh, so if you look at the at the, my recommended streamers, Miles is streaming actually on Wednesdays and sometimes on Sundays, I believe. Um, and he's streaming. Uh, with a focus on level design. If you are actually an inspiring artist that wants to get into um, level design work and all that stuff, I really recommend it. Um, really great stream. I from time to time hang out with my stream as well, uh, just to just to learn from the guy. Uh, that's as simple as that. So uh, shout out to Miles, guys. Uh, just take a look at um, take a look and, and just you know and basically see see uh, uh, see see basically the content that uh, Miles is putting out there and i really hope i will be able to work uh, you know in the future in like quests and so on together with miles uh, because that was always amazing uh, in the past and uh like <laughs> okay i, I want to move on but i just wanted to mention like it's it's so it, like very often you know when we are like assigning people to like different pieces of content and so on in the studio like you always pick the people that that pretty much like feel like water and, and and fire kind of a way so they are like in a way an oppositions so for instance you just combine a junior with a senior you just combine a you know somebody who's very extroverted with somebody who is a bit more introverted you just have a, have a bit of a, like a mix of different like types of uh, how to say it skills and um, different types of empathy on a given storylines and quests and so on and because of that i'm very rarely with miles because miles is a senior i'm um, you know, I'm a lead, so, you know, we did some things together. So we are mostly, like, assigned and working together with a bit less experienced uh, designers and so on. So because of that, it's, I probably want to have the chance to work uh, with Miles too, uh, too early. But anyway, would be fantastic. Mm. Uh, uh, Tyler asks, has the communication between the different teams improved since the release of Cyberpunk? Yep. Absolutely. I, I cannot really get much into the detail, but this is a part of a red uh, transformation uh, that we guys uh, have talked about uh, publicly. So it is it is going actually pretty well, I think. Uh, and But, you know, still a lot of learning, uh, still a lot of steps, um, because we want to get better. I want to get better. I want to uh, work in the best studio in the world, and I want to make the best games in the world. That's almost the only thing that matters for me outside of i guess my relationship but those are like two most important things in my life so here we go guys i'm a psycho when it comes to that let's move on another one okay so so this is a uh this is a uh a, a nod to the uh to the to the, to the last stream i talked about the kilt you know the kilt is like the, the woman uh, woman's um dress basically like i i i shouldn't probably call it a dress like a suit i don't know an attire uh for like scottish men it's actually really 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 cool and, and uh, awesome looking so i was talking a bit about tartans and kilts and stuff so uh yes here you go um a, a meme about this <laughs> so yeah um uh, I, I I see that Miles is discussing his nickname with people uh, on the chat, so I'll just move on. Um, um, Camille, okay, so Camille Cesaro, this is a shout out to you. I, I think we have experienced this very often. You know, <laughs> sometimes Camille is giving me like in-game directions and it's like, but because of the because of the stream lag, I'm like. I feel I, I'm, I'm looking like my just brain is like you know at, at like max 19 IQ, uh, which you know. Um, means that I'm behind in development. Uh, for those that don't know the, the uh, IQ ranges. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> so, sometimes it looks like it. 
Um, it's very hard. It's very hard to find all those like hidden spots you guys know uh, very often. And sometimes they simply don't know where you're trying to direct me to. But anyway, it it, it is fun. So uh, and I really love this meme. If there's like about this like angry child, um, I don't know from where it come from. Uh, you know, there's like uh, this, this like uh, this like angry kid meme. Um, Jesus, the baby is methamphetamines. Do you think so? Damn. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on because the uh, the, the, the family friendly stream uh, seems to be in danger. Um, yes, Pink Julian, you you know you you do not you do not have you should you shouldn't say anything you know uh, about the methamphetamines and so on. We saw you what you how you were reacting to Mitch. Anyway, let's move on. Um, uh, okay, <laughs> so so that well, that is that is the the uh, the Groundhog Groundhog Day 2077 for a, a gig rather love edition. That was that was basically last time when I had like 20 attempts at like coming back to the same <laughs> to the same moment. Yes. Anyway, um, uh, uh, cool, cool. And the last meme for today. Okay, that is actually shout out to Ayano. So Ayano. Uh, something for you. Uh, thank you so much for being with us every week and, and modding. I uh, really appreciate this. Uh, I wanted to uh, make a uh, mention that Ayana streaming Destiny 2. You can uh, check her out. She's producing our UI team uh, in the in the uh, company. So you can see, you know, gamer friend or versus Ayana's out. Gamer friend works in gaming. Uh, good at video games. Great stream. Female and great moderator. <laughs> so exactly you can you here you here you go uh guys yeah exactly kitkat kate is uh sending some love to ayano actually last last week uh, we all saw basically a great meme regarding you know everybody in the stream uh greeting uh, kitkat kate how it looks like when like 40 dudes realize that kitkat kate is most likely a woman because we never talked about but i think so so we might be all mes misled by her nickname and behavior but you know, who knows? And then, then you had this, then you have this buffed up of like dudes, like a real sausage party. Um, uh, so, but anyway, family friendly stream, as I said. So uh, now, guys, I wanted to actually do something different. So let me, I, even though I, I really like this this music, I will now uh, just make it a bit more quiet and now i wanted to actually um switch to something else so guys as i mentioned um tyler has been doing a fantastic work when it comes to the um modding uh, when it comes to like promoting modding and so on of the cyberpunk and so on and you know like i've been doing multiple shout outs to uh to uh tyler before uh, now, we won't be watching the whole video here, of course, because it's pointless, like the, uh, you know, Tyler is a creator, I will send a link to his video in a moment uh, on, a, on a stream so that you can basically check it out, uh, I, I think it's really worth it, uh, but basically, uh, Tyler was when Cyberpunk working on the came out uh, video, August, you know, regarding the, the um, Cyberpunk mods and so on and so on, and, 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 and here you can have actually like Tyler speaking about the, about the mods. major things that we need to talk about include the rebalancing of the RPG systems that exist in the game. The game is based around Yeah, and that's the one that they wanted to FGR, put a bit of emphasis on also because Tyler picked it. Scissors. There is much scissors more in the video has though. Actively taken all of the items that you collect in the game and standardize their DPS and armor ratings. The different weapons that you get instead And th this mod I find it actually really interesting, in you know. I'm not a gameplay designer. Um it also makes I, it, it might be Ayano that that's the one I I will send a link as well in a moment. Individual encounter. Built into the game are yeah. weaknesses and resistances based on a gang affiliation based on a life path, based on level, etc. Yeah, and I wanted to put a bit of emphasis on this really interesting approach, uh, you know, to the, I would say, to the uh, stats in general. It is a bit more hardcore. So this is an, uh, and by hardcore, I mean a bit more focused for like hardcore players. Um, but uh, and nevertheless, uh, an interesting one and probably and, and definitely uh, something worth considering if you are into this kind of things. And... Um, after uh, this, yes, this is scanned from the official game guide, of course. Uh, 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 what I wanted to what I wanted to say is that uh, the uh, if you are into this, like um, as as we as when we'll be done watching this, I will send also the link to the Tyler's 
uh, Google Doc, where you actually have a really interesting and well-prepared tutorial. So you know, when you walk around and you face how many models has CDPR hired now? Thermal gun. The you know, guys, you I cannot really talk too much about that topic. Um, right so, uh, the like few, I, 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 let me leave it at this, this right? Like, gun, example, um, and I'm very, very thankful they're the they are with us and they're working. Chemical damage. So we need a thermal gun. This pistol is thermal damage when it yeah. comes to armor there's a lot of changes at play here everything else is fairly standardized again with the yes i will show the uh the, the mod list on the stream quickly slot you need another mod is called street style effectively every single item you have has a different class of outfit mm -hmm. or style if you are capable of collecting an entire set that matches a single outfit. If your outfit actually matches, you will have a better chance at conversational skill checks. We have a so uh, this is a this is a part I really wanted to put emphasis on. Now I didn't. This is weird. I I know I know Tyler. I know Tyler. This is weird. Uh, what I shouldn't leave your face like this. I mean, come on, it's fine. I mean, maybe I'll just try to Couple do it that you have your mouth uh, mouth closed. Is that better? I think that's more comfortable, right, uh, Tyler? I think this is fine. Um, uh, you, you know, I, I know how it is, uh, how it is to, that, you know, when somebody catches you with the, uh, better, thank you, okay, with somebody <laughs> catches with your mouth open, like, you know, and you're like this, um, on the, like, I consciously picked majority of my thumbnails, you know, with, like, mouth open, uh, so that, uh, you know, I can be... <laughs> I can be basically, uh, you know, so that you guys can laugh at me. Uh, <laughs> a lol 3 gay road, uh, a T pose would be more comfortable. Yeah, maybe. Uh, uh, so, guys, now I actually wanted to uh, switch this to uh, the mod list. So, um, in a, in a moment. So, first of all, this is a video that I was talking about. Uh, here you have a link uh, to the video. Here's the link to the video of um, the uh, mods that uh, the, the video that I was talking about. Uh, check it out. Now, in the description of the video, actually, there is this really cool mod list. Um, and let me switch to this, I think. So, here's the... Um... <laughs> what... what? What what it what 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 did you mean? What did you mean, Tyler? What did you mean? Pavo doesn't smell. Stop saying he smells. Okay. What do you mean? I I you mean like no? I I I'm not, I'm I'm going to ignore this. I'm going to ignore this. Uh, but stop stop trolling. Stop trolling, Tyler. You know we we are way too strong. You know for you. Like nobody got <laughs> nobody nobody's gadget no nobody nobody's uh, you know uh, <laughs> being caught on this nobody's being caught on this anyway um, but um, Tyler what I wanted to point out guys is this actually this link to the Google Doc um, and uh, you know you have it in the description of the video as well but I'll just I'll just paste it on the chat as well so um, guys this is basically the pretty cool preparation of like how to get the mods working, what kind of mods you have, what plugins do you need, and then you have the, the most important projects picked by Tyler, really cool uh, approach. Now important for our part is it works with 1.3, right? Um, I'm not sure Tyler if it works with 1.41, I believe majority does, uh, but you know, uh, as I said, uh, the, I am nowhere close to the knowledge level uh, of Tyler regarding this project, so I encourage you really to uh, read it out. Um, it, uh, it 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 does work with 1.31. That's uh, that's perfect. That's awesome. Uh, and as you can see, there's so much stuff. You know, um, GTA Travel, Shadow Hair, Magazines of Night City, um, and a ton of like gameplay mods and so on. Ra radio overhaul, which I think is actually really interesting one. Um, the, uh, the the radio mod. Um, yeah, and I, I think that is it. So, guys, an absolute uh, humongous work on uh, the side of Taylor, uh, Tyler. This is um, this is it. I uh, yes, I will now probably switch to the game, but yeah, uh, and and uh, I I think we'll finish for now this uh, part about about the uh, about the mods. But overall, um, really awesome work by Tyler. Uh, thank you, Tyler, for doing this uh, for the community. I will now. Um, put the music a bit on and then um, I will switch now to the game while I'm uh, looking at your guys questions because I uh, just need to make sure that our game is 
uh, running and we'll, we'll, we will switch to uh, playing right now. Thanks for the shout-out and the worries, Tyler. I mean, honestly, I'm all for giving shout-outs to people who are really doing, you know, amazing work for the um, for the community. So I, I, th I think it's I, I think it's always uh, important. Uh, okay, I have uh, sorry, guys. I have one technical issue right now, but it's being resolved. I think hopefully it's being resolved as we speak. Uh, how can we talk to you outside of Twitter? Of, I think the best is Twitter, to be honest. Good morning, Night City! Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30! 10 out of hand! Uh, there's a question, Thanks what are we going to do today? Wars. It's time for the Voodoo Boys. Down, this so time, we are going to do the, the Panam storyline. will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo! Now Hey guys, as you can hear, probably I already have the game running. Uh, let me just go to the settings because I'm a bit loud. Uh, the game's a bit loud. Um, it, let me let me guys uh, know if the audio is fine for you uh, when it comes to the balance of my voice versus the audio of the game. Because hey, I've been tinkering a bit with it to make it better for you. And I just want to make sure that you're fine with that. Um, now... Um, Okay, now I will switch to this. So, uh, how are you guys feeling? Okay, so this is the... How's the audio of the game right now? Uh, how's, the, how's the audio going? Guys, everything fine and can you can hear me and it's, all, it's too loud. What, the, the game's too loud? Okay. Uh, the game's too loud. Okay, Okay, let's set it to 30, because we were at 35 before, usually. I mean, shots out are out. Let me just check, because um, I don't want to, because I prefer to keep the balance here, and don't, uh, don't want to, like, you know, screw this up, because actually this has been, like, a lot of... Um, work of our audio team to so just make sure that the mixing's right. I think it should be um it should be fine. I, I can turn myself on a little as well. Like I did, I just did that like mic went up a bit. Okay guys. So let's 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 go and let's kick it in. Um we took quite a bit of time. It's good now. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, uh it's your experience is important for me so let's loot all that stuff. Oh such a nice Jinguji looking box. Hmm Cool. Okay. Uh, guys, so I think that right now we are going to jump to this one, right? That's the plan for today. I didn't mean turning yourself on, but I'll take what I can get and then this, and then this gay icon. <laughs> um, cool. I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm Praffle, uh, really, really, uh, interesting, uh, comment, um, let's put it at this, um, let's put it, uh, uh, let's leave it at that, by the way, guys, I just wanted to say, this district looks so cool, by the way, just exploring this place, holy hell. Damn. Yeah, this place looks so awesome. Hmm. Trash is levitating a bit. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, guys, uh, let's jump in. Uh, let's not lose time. And I am getting my bike. Where are you, my trustworthy bike? Okay, I hope you won't bump at me. I love this animation, by the way. <laughs> when it's doing this. This is our favorite. This is our favorite song. I, I really don't like those dudes, you know? That are here. Let's uh, let's do some uh, let's uh, do some c cool action, guys, um, before we actually uh, you know move on to help Panam. I'll hide here in the bush. Ha, nobody spotted me. P 
perfection. What the? What the? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Must be hearing things. Nah, you're not hearing things. I'm just killing people here. I mean, I attempted to, but you know, like, um. Hmm. <laughs> hey, come on, let's fight. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's chill. Let's chill, my friend. Okay. That was exactly what I meant. Uh, that's that was all planned, guys. That was all planned. Okay. Yes, I will. Cl I will climb no, that uh, street sign. Right. Okay. I'm just canceling reload. Nope. Okay. I'll loot your ass. Oh shit. Hmm. You know, a bar barbecue. Cyberpunk barbecue. This is how you do it. Yep, we get the crusher. Okay, bloody knife. Interesting. This place is so fucking awesome. Damn, I should have made more quests here. This is so fucking nice. Like, I never saw that, like, that, like, two corridors and shit. There's so much stuff in that game that, honestly, after making it and playing it now, I keep on finding things that I didn't see. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. A really, really awesome piece of narrative, of environmental storytelling, right? Like, look at this, guys. This looks so awesome. You know, the fact that you, you can, you see, you know, those bullet holes here and, you know, the bullet holes on the wall and so on. And you can, like, puzzle the story together that those dudes were probably, like, standing, sitting here and so on and sh shooting there. Really cool. Um... Anyhow, anyhow, um, oh, there's some loot, there's some loot, uh, the human Roomba is back, okay, uh, yoga shout out, you know, damn, dude, what happened to your head? By the way, the level of detail is fucking insane, uh, just saying, uh, just saying, um, where's my bike, oh, here's, did I kill everyone? I think I did, right? Okay. Pavo happened to it? Walk? <laughs> no, yes, uh, uh, I'm, I'm attempting to walk, uh, but you know, I, I won't be listening to the streetlights. Easy street. Hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, guys, um, we are uh, bouncing. This feels so awesome to actually drive like uh, against the sun like this. Motorcycles have radio? Yes. They always had radio. Radio. I don't think we ever had a version that didn't ever have a radio on motorcycles. <laughs> okay. I killed that poor cactus, guys. Okay, guys. We are coming in. There is Panam waiting for us. By the way, this, uh, like, the way how the environment looks like here. I remember, like, I've, I've mentioned that in one of the streams before, like, that these, this huge, like, uh, you know, wind catchers, like, this huge, like, fans here, were supposed to be, like, a, just an identity of Badlands. And I really love the, the rotating one, this one, the round one. It's just, like, such a, it has this really intriguing style to it, you know, to just... Because we wanted to give the player this like 
very clear indication that you are uh, that you are here in the Badlands. Okay, I need to get off my bike. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have arrived. Now I will. I'll just. Joke. Okay, guys, uh, and uh, uh, done with vibing, uh, saving the game, and let's go. Do you think the DLCs will be released within the next 15 years? No comments on the DLC, Tyler. Besides, like, I, I think you're you know, the, the timeline that you're assuming is a bit too ambitious. It's a bit too ambitious. In 15 years. Yeah, Slage in the road, let's not rush things. I mean, correct, uh, exactly. Just a little more time. Yeah, yeah, you turn it into a goddamn rocket ship. I know. <laughs> Julian, Pinky Julian, do you see that dude that is standing there, by the way? Just a, just a moment for, for Pinky Julian, guys. Really cool, Mitch, you know. Okay, uh, guys, anyway, um, I, uh, one thing that I wanted to point out to you uh, here, as you can see, like, I entered the camp and everything is set up in a way so that my attention as a player is basically targeted at the basilisk, at the panzer. And you can see those, like, cranes on two sides and so on and everything. So, like, the whole setup has been prepared to, like, put my attention as a player on that panzer at the center and you know like a small scene when they were like discussing you think and so on this is exactly staging i really like that um staging exactly you guys learn fast um and let's go because this is basically a, a setup for now and uh, we will see how the scene develops okay hey panam how's life all ready to go hey v no not yet Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the system. Oof. Okay. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the wrapping can. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. <laughs> okay, Thought Cassidy. Made it look like it just came back from a Corpo war tour. And Johnny, nice touch. Johnny just appearing in like weird as fucking places. I love doing that during the production, you know. Um, okay, behind the scenes story um, by uh, because there is a behind the scenes stories from last week Wonderful, that I didn't say you? by Matthias Ninja. So I'll just talk to you guys about this one. So. It's actually really interesting because like at the f at first when we were like concerning and thinking, you know, how to actually implement Johnny Silverhand. One of you. I think pointed out a few streams ago, uh, and was a really clever question, was that, Pavel, what's the relation between the Wonderful, idea that she? you had for the wedding the uh, and uh, Vladimir in Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone and Johnny? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, in a way, the way we did Johnny is built upon that idea. And as you can, as you can see that as a creators, you know, we have learned from like starting with something super simple that I did with Vladimir in Hearts of Stone, when you were like walking all over the open world and so on, you had the small scenes with Vladimir appearing in the places where you had like POIs in The Witcher 3. The and here, actually Johnny is like taken sort of to the next level, of course, because he's throughout the whole game. He appears in many, many different like open world activities and so on. And, and one of the things that we were doing is also like give Johnny a bit like unusual slots and spots where he appears because he's not bound by physics he doesn't have to be like standing on the ground even though your brain like this brain is interpreting the data that johnny is in a way that is understandable so he seems to follow the rules of the physics and so on and you can see him you know sitting here in this in this spot uh, and I, I'm pretty happy with the way we managed to, uh, you know, to do Johnny and, and pull that, uh, pull that off. I, I think it really worked out 
uh, quite well. Uh, but there was a lot of emphasis of, of just multiple departments on making sure that this will feel right in a whole game. Anyway, let's move on, guys. Wonderful, isn't she? Let me show you the robes. Okay, what about Soul? What about him? Nothing, for now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. Hmm, okay interesting because we are just dancing here on the edge right like we know that um we know already that she did Wonderful, something that sold in want let me show you the road no tank banging ah, disappointment always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front didn't even need to be recruited they just showed you the tech <laughs> come on hop in everything is set Okay, I am getting into the basilisk, guys. I am getting into the basilisk. By the way, just wanted to mention like the scene staging here. As you can see, like the way it's set up, it sort of naturally funnels me to this cone. Like here, if you would look, like basically there's this natural invisible cone, right? Because as a player, in a, when I approach the scene, I won't probably stand here, right? Like this is like ridiculous because I can't see shit. Right? I also won't like stand here. I may stand here, but but then they will like play look at and look at me. As you can see, you know, Panam is like looking after me and so on. But in a way, it's set up like this, so that you can see she has this like 360 turns. And I wanted to show you something else. So if I stand here, look how uh you know she is pretty much like following me in a way, but not in a ridiculous manner, but it's a bit more natural, you know, because her focus is like, hey, we do this, you know. So her focus is on me, and she is like, you know, very slowly and calmly turning. Calmly turning. Oh, hello, self uh, stealth spell. Uh, good to have you here. Stealth spell is this Pina. This Pina is a quest designer in my team. Good to have you, this Pina, with us. We are playing uh, Panam Storyline. We did review the memes and we looked at the mods already uh, on the on this uh, stream. Uh, so yeah, and today I will be streaming a bit longer. By the way, uh, I. Yes, I, I mentioned that on the uh, at the beginning of the stream, because it's our twentieth stream. Yeah, Panam, exactly. Who do you think is better than you in narrative design? Hmm. Well, I mean, there are companies that do like stellar job in some aspects, and I think that uh, I think that being like realistic, like. For instance, like um, when it comes to the building scenes itself, uh, making them very cinematic and making them feel really good, Naughty Dog is the best in the whole industry. Like pretty much they are, it's Naughty Dog and nobody for a long time. And they maybe we are somewhere there uh, after them. Then when it comes to like character characterization via dialogue, I think the um, Disco Elysium uh, did, did amazing job, like the writers there. Uh, did it in a really intriguing and fresh way. I had a chance to like check out just a bit of the game, so uh, didn't play it yet because I'm uh, still playing the Psychonauts 2. Um, so I think that those two... Hmm. Well, I mean, you know, the, 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 the old guards, so like I would say Bioware and Bethesda, they are good uh, in what they are doing. Um, I'm not sure if they're like honestly better than us I I in it. Like they're definitely there uh, somewhere, you know, at the top a and we are hovering around, but uh, it's also like, I, I think a bit, uh, how to say it, not humble to like compare yourself like that. So I don't want to do it, but definitely like Bioware and Bethesda know what they are doing um, with, the with their games, especially like, you know, of course the old trilogy of, of Mass Effect's really well done. Um, so, so yeah, and I, hmm, outside of that, I'm not sure actually, like, to be honest, like Santa Monica did a really great job with God of War, but I think it's, um, uh, and, and the storytelling was very good there, especially via gameplay when you were moving together with Atreus till the level. Um, so for sure, like, they deserve the prize. Yeah, I think those are the ones that um, th those are the ones that come to my mind. Like, um, there is definitely like Rockstar to be mentioned, but 
<laughs> it 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 is very it is yeah it's it's a very difficult thing to judge for me um because like with rockstar is like there are some elements that are amazing and there's some elements that they wouldn't ever go with with it like this like red dead redemption 2 has amazing like elements um when it comes to the storytelling and so on so i i, I would put them like somewhere there as well um but there are some things that i'm really not fan of their design um uh so uh, but again like i don't want to like criticize other game dev studios and, and work of other people because you know I, i'm i'm not planning not going to be a dick you know i i can think different things about that but um I, i'm not going to you know publicly criticize uh, another devs like uh, i think you know they are doing their best um yeah I, uh, but uh, I think that there is still so much work uh, to be done because, like, I want us to be better, and we will be. We will be. We will be, guys. Okay. Guys, let's get into the. Um, let's get into the basilisk, guys. Let's what? go. Hop I'm hopping, I'm hopping. Oof. Oof. It feels so fucking cool. This first moment when you get in. Oh, and she dropped her jacket. Cool. All right. Let's fire her up. Hold Pan on to your head. Panam, you're clipping slightly. Okay. This crystal dome. This is how this technology is called, by the way. So, like, nice. um... Anybody get it running? Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Oh, her Maybe post changed and she corrected it. She's, 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 she's good now. <laughs> oh, yes. And you can see, like, we could have done it in a way that she just sits down and just starts it. But she didn't. She actually pressed multiple things, you know, That's tried to make it mom. work and so on. And Bob did what they could. And she like pressed multiple buttons, like tried to make it work. What do you, you know. think? Okay. <laughs> now I get why they call them coffins. Panam is awesome so, that way. Think? Yeah, exactly. But I, I wanted to, I wanted to guys tell you like it's a tool of characterization, right? Like she could have sit down and just turn on the panzer and move on, right? But it's not. She sits down, tries to make it run, it doesn't work, she hits it with a fucking hammer, then she, like, tries to press different things, you know? And you have so just all those think? animations, all the things up. she does, it's a characterization. This is basically just a, um, it's basically just a, um, way to depict the character as well as we can, you know? Uh, Tyler wrote, I have 400 hours in the game and I just now found the alternate start the fingers by forcing open the door. Yep, exactly. And it's a completely different scene. Uh, actually, like, I think fingers has like four different so uh, ways Impressive that you can up. approach that scene. And majority of them have uh, are different. So, yep, as I said, like a lot of uh, a lot of players claim uh, that there is no non-linearities, but they just didn't find them. Anyway, um, but they will. They will. I know that they will in time. Not how I imagine it. How could I get why I call them coffins? I love, I love this well, one. At least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What? No knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Mystical oneness, guys. Okay, uh, guys. Pam wants us to jack in. Um, not sure. Not sure what she means. Maybe we are going to get some um, romance uh, action. Um, Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? <laughs> Can I still Don't get out? Me? No. Then I trust you. 
Okay, I wanted to point out something else because there's so much stuff to talk here about, uh, guys. But first of all, look at this. Look at these monitors, right? Like, this is a work from the UI team um, that Ayana's producing. Like, we are cooperating very closely in things like this. And basically, every time when Quest or Cinematic Designer needs things like that, we basically, like, sort of, like, report it to Ayana and say, like, hey, we are going to need something like this. And then, basically, the UI designers and motion designers, people who basically specialize in making the sick things uh, here, they basically here? sit down and, like, prepare it so that on the side of the Quest, we can, like, turn them on and off and, you know, make them act nicely and so on. It's always so much work to make it feel but this gives you this feeling this makes it right right this makes this feeling of uh, that it was prepared well now uh, I can give you so much information like regarding the background story of the panzer and so on uh, but I, I just don't want to bore you to death with it um, let me really quickly to uh, tell the tell you guys behind the scenes story from Me? Rolanon um, that redeemed his points so guys the panzer right we have iterated the panzer so much because we wanted to make the V sit together with Panam, but in the same time, our artists, uh, led by uh, Pavel Milnichuk and Bill Daly, um, those two guys, they really wanted to make the uh, entrance, uh, sorry, interior of Panzer asymmetrical, so that it doesn't like it's you're not next to Panam, basically who's next to you, and that's it. But actually, she's like sort of a um, you know on a on the side, slightly in the front of you, also because it's nicer to look at her. Look, like I can. It's much nicer, much easier for me as a player to look at her like this rather than just looking completely on the side, right? It's more natural. And because of that, you know, um, because of the fact that it works better also for the scenes, we decided to do it like this. And there was quite a bit of iteration. I remember like the moment when we, we had like a discussions regarding the sex in the panzer. And... <laughs> And literally the discussion was about, hey, there's not enough space, you know, there's not enough space for them to bang correctly, you know, so uh, you guys can imagine, uh, like, this is literally the discussions that we are having sometimes in the studio when you have like, I don't know, bunch of dudes and, uh, and dudes sitting together and discussing that they can't bang like correctly because there's too little space, you know, and, uh, and it's cool. It, it's really, it's really awesome. It, must, it just makes my job really, really fun sometimes. So yeah, I mean, it is fun for most of the time, I have to say, but sometimes it makes it funny. And uh, yeah, just those discussions are hilarious. Uh, there's, there's so much stuff that happened here. Uh, but anyway, I will leave you at that. I'll leave you at that. Um, those legendary Panzer meetings, I've heard so much about <laughs> stuff, stuff <laughs> wrote. Uh, why tank sex? Well, I mean, because um, in The Witcher 3, we did the unicorn sex uh, with Yennefer, right? That's the one, oh, by the way, family-friendly stream. So uh, I, I, need to, I, I need to apologize here. So uh, that's the one that I did in The um, Witcher 3 because, like, the, the uh, unicorn sex, that was something I worked on. I remember, like, this meeting when, I don't know who was that. Was it me or Marcin Blaha, our story director? Somebody mentioned, like, we literally, like, I think it was me, like, as a joke, basically, we thrown around, what if Yennefer has this fucking staffed unicorn standing there? And and uh, I think it was me then, where I was like, okay, and then they have sex on it, you know? And then each of us just looked at each other, we started laughing, and then we end up meeting saying, we are, you know what, let's do it. So this is the answer why, why tank sex, because we did the unicorn and we wanted to, you know, just give you guys something better. So that's basically the way you do it, you know, just uh, as I told you, we are developing. We are developing as a studio, right? We are developing as a studio. Anyway, um, funny story, funny story. Um, okay, Panam. What's going uh, on, Mindy? Now it makes sense why Panam is a perf. Well, <laughs> I mean, being a perf, sort of, I mean, family friendly stream. So being like this for her, um, uh, that makes sense, right? It makes sense for her. Anyway, anyway, uh, what's the second pilot for support? Oh, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. Kinky Pavo. We'll practice. Okay. And by the way, I love the sounds of the Panzer, you know? The okay. fact that if you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. Yeah. And you can see here how we have justified like character it's building. Pleasant. You'll see. 
And we did it in a way that basically you are com connected through the machine with Panam, which has this like intriguing cyberpunk vibe. And when you have sex with her together and you're connected by this machine okay. and you see it through this all those different cameras, fun. it actually gives you this amazing feeling, you know? And it's really like, first. it's, it's really a really cyberpunk Doesn't feel. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Okay. So guys, are we jacking in? Hey, Papa, will you be playing Cinnamon anytime soon? Hmm. I mean, we'll see, maybe. Uh, the quest well, is crazy. I'm really interested in knowing how it came to be and what the idea behind it was. Oh, um, I think I already got the call. I will check if I have it on my, um, on my list. <laughs> no shaft to gain, though. No, well, no, no. Will you link up? Uh, anyway, uh, no, no, I'm jacking in and nothing else. Nothing else. Um, okay, Panam, let's go. You know, the other thing is it's just like hey, cra her crazy look because she's like so much into it. Anyway, guys, um, no, Black Eagle, don't say things like that on family friendly stream. Uh, is it a design choice not to give NPCs jack in ports or their character models? Do they uh, canonly still have it? Hmm. Well, it's it's like this that if you up? look in some NPCs, some of them do have it and some of them don't. So it just it just depends, you know. It's like because we've been discussing it. It's like um, how to say it? It's like you still have people nowadays who don't use modern cell phones, and then there are some people. Uh, and but majority does, and it's basically this kind of situation, you know. Okay. Penel? Yeah, we have the cameras. Is this uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? Woohoo! And you guys saw this is the important part. Is like there was okay. this moment. Starting to understand what you meant. There is this moment of like sensory oh. overload, right? Like oh. as a as a player, you just saw suddenly everything from the cameras and so on. So um and yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I can, I have small tutorial, you know, how to move and so on. And as you can see, you know, the UI plays like a really key role of like introducing those elements. You can see completely custom UI that we have done here, you know. Um, and right? and Henry seems a boat. Fly right over any bus. All yeah, and then you can see, you know, the movement. Like you can right. see basically the sides of the panzer, how they are moving, right? When I'm moving uh, one way or another. Right? You can't imagine, guys, how many discussions it took to actually nail it down and figure out how it should actually work to make it believable, cyberpunk, and realistic. It was oof. Okay, let's get to the waypoint. All right, I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. Okay. Let's go to the wire to the to the turbines. Left. Oh, she says left. Oh god. Oh god. Good. Keep her going. Keep her going. Okay, guys, let's go. Right. Uh, okay. Yes, that's the way to do it. Okay, cool. Panama is so much into this panzer thing, right? <laughs> But by the way, you can feel, you can see basically how much it actually gives the character to a person when you can depict a person as a passionate about something, you know? And in real life, it's kind of the same. We are always, as a people... Stop and I'll activate the system. Okay. It always, like, as, a, uh, as people, like, we are always very much, you know, like, sort of, like, seduced by people that are passionate about things. That's one of the reasons why Panam is actually feeling so well, you know, um, as a person. Because she's, you see her in all those moments when she can be passionate about something. And the sheer fact that she's passionate about the tank, you know, is also something that is uh, interesting, I would say. Okay, let's uh, destroy that. Woohoo! Damn! Am I missing this? Hello? Okay, practice is over. Woo! Managed to destroy it. Good. Hello? Now I'm going to connect. It could feel strange. Meaning, 
Basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. Let's that synchronize guys with Pada. Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. Uh, there is a uh, there is a comment from Machiavelli. Uh, Panam's half of the room has seen this filtered green color and it's annoying. Why do that? I mean, because we, we wanted to give this uh, cyberpunk vibe, right, to it, that you are seeing yourself from a... Um, from different cameras, right? Like, hey, guys, don't don't get me wrong. Like the romance scenes and and the sex scenes in the game are there as a narrative tool, right? This is not porn, right? Like, I think that we are all clear about this. Like, there are some websites in in the you know in the internet that you can go to where you will actually find you know a, 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 a you know a porn with no green screen. So, like, honestly. Um, so that's why, you know, like, this is not the purpose of it. Like, it's narrative. It's about characters. It's about storytelling, right? It's, um, yeah, wait, it's not. I mean, it, it, it's it's not. It's not. I, you know, I have to disappoint you, but uh, it's, it's really not. Me? Sorry, Panam, but, you know, the Twitch chat is asking about porn all the time. Um, you know exactly what you mean. Hmm? Tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. V was V was really let's interestingly go. like quirky. Okay, let's here. try this. Guess I'll get to know you better than I'd planned. <laughs> All right. Let me just say let me V. You'll experience feedback. Sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Starting now. Oof. Hey, hello, my V. Woof! Whoa! Holy fuck, what's going on? The we, we have to get back to camp. They're rapping! Whole group of them, ready for a fight! They're here too, Saul, in full force! Take them out, and haul ash here, and make yourselves useful. Left Let's control break. to deploy countermeasures? Okay, guys, are you ready for some action? Let's go. Let's destroy some cactus in a way, by the way. Here you go. Bad cactus. Okay. What? Holy fuck, what happens here? You guys are getting your ass whooped. This is what's happening. I'll tell you this. This is what's happening. Yes, pure destruction. They were not expecting this. They were not... I uh, just get this. Rockets. You bastards. Let me fry your asses. Panam, do you like it? I'm doing. I hope that Panam's sensors are getting overload now. Here, get more rockets, you bastard. Time to talk. Whoa, okay. Soul just. Soul just uh, talk to me. Okay. Time to park our baby. Okay, I think it's being turned. Damn. Okay, guys, let's get out. I feel that. Um, I feel that uh, Sal's gonna be, um, uh, you know, uh, angry. Okay, um, wait for Pan Am. We can see her getting off uh, the place. Jesus, holy hell, what's going on here? All of us, each on his or her own, must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Oh, shit. And again, you can see the scene staging. Get got off, and Panam goes directly at him on, for a confrontation. To leave the clan, please just say Let's so. look at it. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. 
you said... I know, but I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family. I really... Not even knowing whether you'd be I literally have to goosebumps. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. <sighs> this is so fucking amazing. Like this moment when he's angry and you're expecting the confrontation and then they just hug, you know, and he basically gives her, you know, like they are co-leading sort of the family. Yes, the family, exactly. This is so fucking good. And you know, the moment when like you can see, okay, yes, there's the leadership, you know, back, you know, she is there and you can see her growing as a character and like taking sort of like her own, <laughs> do it for the family. And she, she's, on, you can see yeah, basically like her taking it to her own hands and really like making sure that, you know, um, she's sort of growing to her purpose. Like it's, it's really interesting. Like it's, it's basically her sort of like fulfilling her destiny, what she's made for. And this outsider here just kicks ass so much. Yeah. So good. Actually, this moment. And, you know, the fact that the, the her storyline has such a cool build-up, you know, because, like, at first she has done something that Saul didn't want, you know, then it turned out to be useful. And then, you know, he changes his mind. He says that he was wrong and, like, basically sort of, like... Uh, I, in a way grants her power like basically tells her hey you can lead the family together with me and then publicly with all the nomads that hear this and you can see the growth of the character this is insane like this is just this that moments are amazing um in the game anyway uh sorry guys i'm getting all uh i'm getting all emotional here um now but i just i just love that kind of stuff so much like the fact that the fact that game can make me feel like this, like literally like the moment when she started confronting and he started speaking, like I felt like my voice is gonna crack and like I had like goosebumps and then outsider no more playing. It, it You know how it felt? Like it felt like Piotr Gadamczyk, you know, the composer of outsider no more is like fucking stretching out my nerves and like playing on my nerves, you know, directly. Uh, the, the lyrics, you know, the, oh, he's playing like on my nerves, like on a guitar. And it's just like my whole body is like reacting. Anyway, try to express this. Let's go. Hey, Panam. So proud of you, by the way. Fucking hell. An interesting day. <laughs> I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. This is. So I don't know if I could have done it without you. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm serious. We Say, all owe you. Did you see the so you can count on me all the counters. It blasted them into bits. No squirming. No. And you can see how story, like how story-wise crafted this moment is. You know the whole path we walk through. We as the designers, we make sure that you see all the destruction. You know, wounded people, chats on the way. It's all like it's all consciously prepared to make you feel like this. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Yeah. And you know, the yeah. fact that she Play. does things like that, she could have approached it from behind, but no, she went through here and just jumped through the bar. Those those moments like give you the feeling as a player that those are real people. Because like what? A real person, if you would be a real person, you'd probably do the same, right? The fact that she acts like this make her feel like a real person. Yeah, amazing animation, exactly. It's like all mo-capped. Um, it's all mo-capped and cleaned up Sorry, and just, lemonade. you know, made sure Suit that... Yourself. We made sure that it's just... Yeah, perfect, as perfect moments as we can. Okay. To happy endings. Let's... I got my spunky monkey. Yeah, real. She feels real, exactly. I like how in CP2077, not only with Panam, Me? we are often joining in a character's struggles, positions, growth. It's such an intimate way. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, it's, you, you know, like what we attempted to do, that it's like in life, you know? 
like you can get to know somebody and then you get that you know you get to know that people that you know have their own problems and sometimes those problems are well maybe they are not as epic as the problems that that panam has um and uh, and you know and all the Kados have but those are still things that you can do you know with other people and this feeling of compassion when joining that this um how to say it like this unique Tri tri trip uh, that, that the character is experiencing is amazing. Um, know where you're going now? V? What now, boss? I have no idea. I'm serious. Not the faintest. Turns out Saul's all right. So it's all wrong. I'll play it by ear. V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Panem, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. Mm -hmm. So awesome. It's so awesome, you know, uh, this moment when she just tells me, you know, um, that they can join the family. Uh, the fact that all the characters feel so real is the reason why so many people fell in love with them. Exactly. Exactly, because it's just they feel like a real people, you know? Like, Panem is so good because she's like passionate about things she's like angry at things she's like struggling she's uh, you know and and you can actually you can actually see it you know um <laughs> there's a question from black eagle about using unreal engine in the future projects i mean i, I you know like we we are working on our own engine so not not not, not really much more i can add um our our engine is like crafted to tell uh, rpg stories and so on Besides, like, v? there's no other engine that has all the tool set that we have to tell stories like this. Because there's no there there's no other games like Cyberpunk. So that's basically the reason. Moments like this just highlight the wasted potential of the game as a whole. Some parts are just beyond perfection while others are lacking or missing. Well, I mean, the thing is, like, those parts that are beyond perfection and so on are the parts that had the most care, the most love, the most time and so on, right? Now, if you would, uh, if you would like, I would say, rise the quality of all the everything to that level, what will happen is the game would be one third of what it is, one fifth probably, because you have to imagine that why, right now we are playing the main uh, side quests, and side quests for us as as designers in God. red is like the important storylines of the important characters. They have insanely big budget, like the budget comparable to main quests. As a designer, as a creator, you just cannot put as much budget and time and emphasis on everything, right? But I'm not saying that we cannot improve because this is what I'm saying. Like everything can be done better, can be done, uh, can be improved. And I'm sure it can be, you know? Um, and I think that we'll, I, I think we'll get there, you know? I think we'll get there. Like we have been criticized so much uh, for everything, really, after Witcher 2, and then after Witcher 3, you know, um, and the, the thing is that what helped Witcher 3, I think, is just yours, when people saw that the level of the Witcher 3 is, like, so hard to beat uh, by any other games, and um, I feel that this is what's ha what will happen to Cyberpunk 2. Give it a few years, and you will see, you know, how people will be talking about Cyberpunk. Be? Because you will see basically how difficult it is to reach this level. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm not bragging here on anything like this. I don't want to uh, make it sound like this. I, I want us to be all realistic, right? Like, I know we can do better um, in time. And we will we'll learn and improve. Okay. Um, uh, the, uh, uh, the Bob Sonowska... The Bob Sonofsky wrote, Pavel just wanted to say thank you for all CDPR people associated with the game. Literally, this game means so much to me. Helped me through some harsh moments and let me some things and put some things in perspective. Now discovering a lot deeper in the tabletop game. Jinkuya. Thank you for playing. Thank you so much for playing. <laughs> Zirenity wrote, any content coming? I'm not commenting on any future plans. Sorry. Every time when I just even mention this, uh, you know, my words are taken out of context. So no, uh, not it's anymore, guys. Um, but you know, when it will be, when anything will be coming in, we will uh, talk about it.
Camille Sedan, will you be playing with Male V in stream after you finish this one? Well, I mean, when I'm finished, when I'm done with, with the game, it will be probably like 40 streams more, maybe 60 streams more, because this is the stream number 20. So uh, I think that uh, that's, it's going to take like years. So, uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I'm sure that we'll have next things to play, uh, you know, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I mean, the you know, the um, uh, we, we were still discussing, you know, The Witcher 3 uh, next gen update to play at some point. So we'll see. Hey, uh, guys, not uh, let's let's focus on what we are doing right now. Stay and come join us. I'd love to, but I can't. This isn't for me. It's not that simple. V? It's really not that simple. You either want to or not. What's so complicated? That's the problem. What I want right now doesn't mean a thing. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. It's so cool, you know, when you can, when you can like see basically, you know, hair slightly getting disappointed, and then there, there's this fucking ominous and reminder, like that you're dying and you're talking to her, and then this, and then you see the relic malfunctioning. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's the thing. It's just like as a player, you're reminded about your what's happening to you, and this is this is a really a really uh, awesome uh, thing. For 100%, only 40 streams. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um. I think it's over. I promise. I gotta go take care. Let me know when you move the cam. I'll think it over. I promise. Let me know when you move the. I'll think it over. I promise. I'll think it over. I Yeah. Perfect moment, right, for it to kick in. V? Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? No. <sighs> God. What happened? What happened? I, I remember could not talk. I, we were talking, and then suddenly you passed yeah. out completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. Oh, V. God, Johnny. Johnny, you're fucking v. killing me. You have to tell me what is happening. Okay, guys, the moment of truth, I guess. What's wrong? It's getting worse, Pan Am. Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, B, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? I'm afraid to tell you the truth. To tell you the whole truth, I'm afraid... Things won't be the same between us if I do. V, cut the crap and tell me what's going on. I'm worried. Yeah, and you can see basically like, it feels like, she feels like a real friend. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Kogito, for gifting a sub to Kazuliski. Um, she, she really feels like, like a real friend because she's just sitting with me and she's just concerned. She's just worried, you know? And this is so awesome. You know, Johnny Silverhand, it's the bust attack in my head. Okay, let's start from Johnny, right? Yeah, I love how worried Pan Am is here. Exactly, like you can see basically her pose, you know, the way she acts and so on. This is so cool. Talk to me. You know, Johnny Silverhand? Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Okay, I can imagine how weird that must be uh, for her. Uh, you know, um, X3DR16N, thank you me? for the sub. Uh, you know, it's serious a long story, Silverhand wreaking havoc in my head. I think Pan that's Am. the proper one. Silverhand's construct is busy wreaking havoc in my head. Impossible, it's not, it's simply impossible. Did Johnny you guys Silverhand? see how she looked up, so doing this like, 
Oh, it's Listen, impossible. So so you natural. Try, you know, talking to someone about this. I could tell my therapist a lot of things, but this isn't one of them. Constructs more like a cancer growing every day. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. Yeah. Okay, guys, go. let's go. Uh, let's go. Feeling better. Really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, uh -huh. Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Uh, and you can see, you know, the family is actually coming to me. And as a player, I can see that the uh, values that the nomads are following, right? And for you as a... Me? Yeah, that's Mitch, exactly. Kit Kat Kate. Uh, <laughs> Mitch blocked you? Nah, he didn't block me. He just came because he's worried, you know, and he just came to uh, greet me. The thing is, guys, I wanted to tell you, like, you can see here, like, as a designers, with, like, those fairly simple tools that we are using to just show you the values anything wrong, that the nomads are using. And, you know, the fact that the family is important to them, sure, they can talk about it because there's no bonds of blood between them. And they can talk about the fact, hey, yeah, family is so Greetings. important to us, whatever. But then when they act ac exactly like this, they actually come over worried. They moved me. What, they moved my ride. Uh, Mitch actually oh, took man. care of my car or my bicycle, what depending on what I had there. No, and wait, wait. And they, they came over here and they're just mm -hmm. asking me, you know, uh, you Don't know how I'm yourself. feeling and so on. It feels me? so great, you know. Um, so you already settled. So you made yourselves at home already. We do have some experience in this. <laughs> this is a good place. We have greater control over the area. The rest will settle in quickly. Yeah. Okay. Let's tell Soul it's it's fine for Much now. better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. Uh, okay, guys. There was like ton of different questions about like expectations and so on uh, about the game. Um, let me just scroll to the question. Is anything Jesus, wrong, the ch chat is coming like 300 kilometers per hour. Um, how do you uh, measure size of expectations to be similar size uh, as for Witcher 3 expansions? Is it gameplay time or other way? How do you measure the size of expansions? Well, I mean, I won't talk about the expansions, but how do you measure the me? size? How do you measure the size of the game? Well, you do measure the size by basically play testing it multiple times in multiple different paths, and then you take the average, pretty much. And yes, of course, you just play with the gameplay. Uh, you assume that the player is efficient, so like the players are um, QA, who's usually giving us the first estimates. Uh, they when they are playing. Uh, they are giving us estimates of like efficient player playing like player that takes more 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 time to delve deeper you know wrong, read everything and so on is of course you know a player that will get more um so this is fine we want to make sure like w how much time average the i would say effective um like quickly playing player will have um so yeah this is this is how we do it uh pretty much looking at it and then you know depending on the data we adjust you know um savage water dragon road this brings us something to a lot of people have talked about one thing this game seems to understand that we struggle with is balancing the freedom of side quests with an intermediate degener of the main story how did you balance this and what did you learn from this yeah it's a really good question i mean i talked a bit um, about it like in the in the past uh, regarding like balancing those two things that is really difficult because like the main story is sort of like we need to give the player enough drive and enough motivation to really like fulfill their story but in the same time it is has to work wrong, with me? the main storyline and i think like what we have get close to mastering is an open world rpg structure of like i would say side quests and main quests but we are not doing it well in the open world formula yet um storyline 
needs to be designed slightly different. Like we need to prepare a conscious moment when the story slows down so that as a player you are clearly seeing that this is a moment when you can actually go to the open world and experience that and nothing really abrupt is happening you know in our games very often you're being chased you're dying somebody wants something you know there is a life at stake and so on and in this all makes for very happen? interesting and All intriguing right. storytelling, very one valuable thing. one. It, it makes you All be glued right. to the screen. To but in the same time, as a player, you do yep. not really yes. essentially have time to really do the open world uh, stuff well enough. And at the same time, it can be contradicting, you know? And some people pointed out um, after Cyberpunk came out, but also with The Witcher, like the, the famous, uh, you know, I'm looking for Siri and care for a round of Gwent question. It's literally this, right? Like Geralt being detracted from his main goal. In, in a way, this is the same problem in Cyberpunk, just in a bit different form. So... Mm, I uh, I think that this is a, a sort of like a next goal or a next objective that as a, I would say as as devs as authors uh, we will need to tackle uh, in the future. So which is like be able to make non-linear but very cinematic game that thus allow the player to. Um, do all those things, explore the open world and so on, and in the same time, not make it feel that the other parts of the storyline are collapsing or crumbling because of that. Anyway, it's a really long discussion um, there, and it's a very complex one because, like, as an industry, we do not really me? know how to do it well because the games that did it better, in most cases, had a much weaker main, and main storyline and side quests, which meant that as a player, you are not driven so much to play the game. You do not care so much about main story. Like, there are some games, and I'm not, not going to throw um, the names here, but there are some games that people claim, hey, I never finished the main storyline. Of course, because the main storyline was so, um, I would say, basic and simple when it comes to, like, drive and the cinematic feel to the game that it didn't make you want to finish it because you just played for open world. So we as an industry, we tend to do one or another. And so either open world or main story wow. side quests and so on. And the striking this balance between both of them is very difficult. And I would love to like find a better formula uh, for it. And I think this is something we'll be um, tackling in the future and, and trying to um, approach with more understanding of a problem. Okay, sorry guys, it just takes so much uh, uh, time. Uh, Kogito asking on behalf of Veteran a question. What do you think about the five, ten seconds animations of a loot uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 as many people have mixed opinions of it? So what's your, your thoughts? I well, I mean, I that's the thing. I, I do not want to criticize other games, guys. Um, like here because well, it's for me, it feels like being a dick, uh, you know, towards other devs and I have at most respect for other games. Now, when it comes to the when it comes to the um, usability of the game and so on, as a as a person, as a player, I feel that I prefer the usability of the thing to be more important than the you know fiddly, very complex, special uh, animation. So the way how I would have done it is like first time, maybe second time, you as a player uh, have this a bit lengthy, uh, interesting animations, but then it just gets shortened to the point that. It's maybe just an interaction Is wrong and me? then the UX, so basically usability takes the front. But in the same time, I understand why Red Dead Redemption did it. Uh, the guys from Rockstar, they wanted to have it very cinematic and that was one of the driving decisions. And that was a conscious decision to a bit sacrifice the UX, so like user experience in contrary to having making it feel very cinematic. Um, if it was a right decision, it was a right decision for them. They wanted to have it uh, like this. Um, me, myself, when working on the game, I feel that making it first time like this and then having an, a, a UX actually take over and be more important to so user experience is the way to go. Um, and that would be my... Uh, that, that, the, this is, this is um, again, my angle. But as I said, um, I um, understand why Red Dead Redemption 2 decided to go this direction. Um, in a way, it's understandable. Uh, let's move on, guys. Jesus, we are standing here so Is long, and I'm just rumbling. Um, Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. 
If you need help, the Alda Caldos are here for you. Then that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Oh, that's so cool that she came back. Hey, Panam. How's stuff? Want me to walk with you? Damn. I like this so much. I know this area. Back from the old roots. You really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. <laughs> hey, Bob. It's so cool, actually, like, you know, that you have this, uh... You know, you're passing through the camp and you can see people greeting you, you know? It makes you feel Let's a bit more like a member of the family, right? In scenes like this, I can relate to things in the app and in real life. Yeah, exactly, Penguin Gamer. Gamer. That's the thing, like, for me, like, the my biggest ambition, the reason why I create games and why I make games is to enrich lives of the players. Like, I want to create entertainment that for you as a player, it makes you feel that you have experienced something so valuable, something so important, something so interesting, that you as a, as a player, you feel like, holy shit, my life is better now. And this is like <laughs> literally one of the biggest rewards I can ever get. Because, and you know, like, I don't want to get philosophical here, but like, you know, Aristotle is like, he said that basically life has no meaning until you give life a meaning yourself. And this is basically the, the, at least the meaning in my own understanding. Like, you know, life is short, unfortunately, our own life is short. And thing is, you can spend it with just, you know, um, completely struggling for a meaning and, and, you know, struggling for something, you know, uh, to do and, and feeling meaningless or you can bring a value for others, you know? Uh, you, can, you can give uh, something to others. And that's my way of do giving to others. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, giving something back to the world. Yeah, exactly. But you know, everything here... It is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. Okay, Panam. This new camp is really dope, though. I love those rocks here. Like, the way... Like, they found some kind of canyon. Wow, this looks so fucking nice. V, back to what we were saying. Okay. This is so cool. And you can see that you can like check this badass here. Quint barrel. Quint twin barrel. Thermal missile launcher. Electric smoke countermeasures. Duplex cyclone nitro injector. Twin neural interface. Life supporting system and so on. This is so awesome. Yeah, and that smoke actually coming from it. So cool. This is great. <laughs> and the fact that it's like painted already, you know, uh, by Aldecados. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? <sighs> this is so awesome, actually. That somebody, you know, and... Uh, I, I don't know, it probably has happened to you uh, in your real life when actually like a person comes to you and just offers help and you can see the only motivation that that person ha has, has is just to help. There's nothing else, there's nothing for themselves, just to help. And this is exactly what Panam is doing here and that's why she feels as a character so real, you know? And v this is something that I think as a gaming industry we didn't learn yet. Like there is single games like single games the you know the um games from rockstar games from uh, naughty dog uh well game star, games from cd project red and i don't think that there are others that actually do this which you have like this very close human 
moment. Like, I don't know, Life is Strange, I guess, did it in some way, uh, in some form. But I'm talking here about the AAA. Um, smaller it's games probably do it uh, as well in some form. I do not have uh, such a big knowledge about indie uh, market. But the, the thing is that, that those real human moments are much better, you know, because, like, the games, the computer games, are not about you gaining levels and getting more gear and being just more fucking powerful and, you know, like, I don't know, getting all the cars and, you know, all the levels and, like, rumping up my athletics to level 20. This is awesome, you know, and so on. But when the game is about the plot, outside of that, you also have this level of emotional investment and the fact that the characters are real. You know, this is the reason why so many people fall in love in our characters, because they are like people. Like, you would love to meet an actual real person who is a friend like Panamis, you know? You would probably love to meet like crazy dude like Kiris, you know, uh, in your real life. Or like Judy, right? Those people are so real or like River, right? Like who cares about his family and when you're Please. doing this investigation with him, it just feels so cool uh, together. Anyway, guys, sorry, I will stop preaching now and I'll start playing the game. Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. <laughs> Pinky Someone Julian, I would love to be the real life Mitch. Remember oh, Hellman. I bet you would. He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Okay. And Machiavelli wrote, Pavel starting to give himself metal again. Rockstar Games did that. Humanized characters in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Yes, I, I mentioned Rockstar. I mentioned Rockstar um, and I mentioned Naughty Dog. I think at least I didn't see any other AAA that does it like this. Outside of those three studios that I mentioned. <laughs> like nothing else comes to my mind actually to this level. Yeah, Mass Effect, I mean, yeah, so that's a good question. Like, Santa Monica, so basically the God of War, yes. I mean, there are definitely moments like this. So I think it's fair to say. The thing is, like, the um, Kojima, like, what, in, in Death Stranding, I guess it's maybe just a bit harder for me to relate to the characters in Kojima games, you know? Because maybe they're just a bit too too weird, you know? Insomniac games, but what, what games? Like, you mean the, what, like, the Spider-Mans? I don't think that uh, I, I didn't feel it like this, you know. I I love Death Stranding, but story of the game is really mess. Uh, Machiavelli wrote, yeah, yeah that, that's the thing. It's just like, um, yeah, Kojima has his own very specific style, and in that style, I think he excels. And those there is definitely like you know, there are people that laugh. I don't know Pollock, and there are people that prefer Picasso. And, you know, it's this kind of a situation, right? Like, um, Kojima has his own style, and he is amazing in that kind of style. And he has a very clear identity in what he's doing. Um, and I don't think that making a real human moments is, like, top one priority for him. Uh, at least from the games he's making, it doesn't look like it uh, to me. I might be wrong here. Bioware games were my favorites of all time, but I never felt this intensely for character like I do in CP77, honestly. Yep, pretty much. Like, I, I you know, I love Bioware games. I played a majority of them. Uh, and the thing is that, you know, though they, uh, I absolutely, uh, you know, think that Bioware are masters in what they are doing. So, yeah. Interesting why I'd like the most games from Rockstar, CDPR, and ND. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's go. Uh, thanks, Panam. Thanks, Panam. Oh, wow. Did we get an achievement, guys? Complete Panam Palmer storyline. Life of the road. Yep. CDPR level of characters plus uh, Rockstar level of polishing dream game. Mm. Absolutely Domator 89. That's, I think, very fair. That's exactly very fair. But, you know, there is uh, congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, but um, there is actually, like, a really clear reason why 
nobody why there's very little companies that make games like this and i told you guys before what that reason is that reason is because it's difficult as fuck ah so they have moved the camp the camp was here before right the camp was moved interesting okay hmm Guys, I think that we uh, had a lot of uh, story, um, storytelling moments and so on. Oh, that's my Galena, but I prefer um, motorcycle, I think, at this point. Uh, but okay, whatever. Let's jump in. Um, let's feel like a nomad for, for a bit. Okay, guys, I think that we'll kick in and do a bit of an open world right, right now because we have uh, Pavo, Pavo's favorite song. Yes, that's true, Despina. You know me so well. Um, uh, Sidra wrote, I argue uh, Rockstar characters tend to be too much of a caricatures and unrelatable, if anything, stereotypical of character, uh, archetypes um, that you would find in a movie or TV shows. Yep. Like, as, as I said, like, I do not want to criticize work of other devs, uh, but I think that you guys see uh, for yourself, you know, why why I'm kind of on the edge with when it comes to the, you know, why, why I mentioned, like, Rockstar as, like, well, l later on my list, you know? Even though their games are polished as hell, um, and I'm definitely a fan, um, there are some issues that I'm having with, with, with it. But anyway, it's but for them, I'm sure it's very much a conscious decision uh, that they want to go um, this direction. Okay, are we getting to? S oh, there is this reported crime here. I think I'm going to get the tarot card here and then uh, do this part, and then afterwards we'll switch to some side quest guys so that we can do a bit different things in the game. Let's go. Damn it. I'm just hoping there's no mines here. I'm just checking if there's any interesting loot. No? Damn this place. Did he get the rocky rich car yet? I believe I did. I don't know. No loot, unfortunately. Yeah. Explosions in 3 to 1, no explosions. I don't know if you guys realized, but I didn't die yet today. Mine watch. <laughs> I'm watching for mines. I'm watching for mines. I have a ton of questions when you will do the Dream On quest line. We'll do the Dream On. We'll do the Dream On. I'm glad you have a ton of questions. That's great. I cannot drive in first person? Oh, interesting. A Kang, A Kang B. Uh, why is that? Like, I, I find driving actually in third person much more enjoyable than in first person. I don't know. It's just... Because I can just watch, you know, the, the, the uh, location and so on. I don't know, the first person is... The first person is okay, but it's just like... For instance, like, turns like that? I don't know, kind of... But also, also because, like, I'm not so much into, like, driving games and so on. And racing games. Um, switch to this one uh so uh, it's just like i find this better oh this is uh, this is this fucking tunnel well okay <laughs> This is such a fucking insane location, guys, by the way. Environ the game is hot as fuck. Amazing work by our team, yep, absolutely. Like, I have, uh, you know, the full uh, respect for 
you know, our art team, these guys are... These guys are absolutely fucking phenomenal. And you know what's funny? They are improving and they're getting even better and better and it's it's insane like it is absolutely insane you know what the guys i i love the most oh hello baby mm. look at that guys how are you feeling about this are we stealing the 77 <laughs> yeah it's it's poggers it's poggers i tell you brother it's poggers um like the fact that you know i can i constantly see uh you know uh our artists improving and just like building better and better stuff and just like oof, i love this like i learned so much from our art team about like composition and like just making the location look rich like look at this they fucking packed there there was imagine there was a person who was sitting down and like placing all that single rocks because this is all manual work this all has been like every single thing every single uh, vfx and so on has been placed manually here anyway um insane i love that save the game After this, Batman beats V after in credit scene. <laughs> right. Right. Um, let's check out the shod. Read this every day. Never give up. Remember your purpose. Don't be afraid. There's nothing there. That's what they always told me. But the night my parents were murdered, I knew I had something in the dark of the night. I searched for it a long time, cloaked myself in the darkness, learned it, understood it, merged with it. I realized in its depths where light cannot escape, where was only one thing to fear, myself. I became the shadow. I became the vengeance. I became the man. Night City doesn't deserve. I became Merkman. I delivered the vengeance, destruction, and justice necessary to save this dying city from itself. And I will do so until the day my heart no longer beats inside my chest. Guys, look at this fucking insane interior. Holy shit. Can you imagine that somebody was sitting and making that buttons there? Or like all those elements. It's insane. And you know, the UI, you know, that is of course customly done for each car. This is so fucking rad. Just quality here is out of this world and you know what i love like the the crystal dome you know technology so the fact that um as a player you know you can see the crystal dome like turning on and on and off right so you have this blackness here and then we get when you get in you can see basically you know uh the crystal dome turning on so cool Let's go with my, uh, wait, am I driving the right way? Yes, I am, right? Right, 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 right. Yes, I am. What? Right, I have been there just a moment ago. Well, whatever. Let's go forward. I think I'm going the right direction because Camilo Camilo wrote wrong direction. I don't think so. I think it's the right one. Damn, this car has a kick. 
Stan here. The sun is down, but I hope you're Hello, still Stan. Up. I've got a real noodle cooker for you today. Researchers at Biotechnica have exposed a dolphin to the brain dance of a human child learning to read. Are there any Apparently, plans to bake huge first IP? And yes, I know that you can't answer that, but still asking, you know. Okay. <laughs> it's a damn shame dolphins can only survive in lab tanks. What I'm supposed to tell you, my friend? Take a crack at it is what it is. Domination. Is what it is. Let's let's drive to the let's drive to the city uh, with this awesome car. Damn. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, I guess that's first for everyone. <laughs> Kogito wrote, Pavo, it was a test. Veteran 10, 10k works for CDPR PR. No. <laughs> I don't think it does work for RPR. I don't think so. At least uh, not according to my knowledge. Okay, let's go. Okay, we have this... Uh, we have this graffiti there that I wanted to grab. Pump on shit, please. Yeah, we'll do pump on shit soon. Woohoo! <laughs> Damn, this car looks so nice. Okay, guys. The Murky Knight is back. <laughs> the Murky Knight is back. Uh, where are you, the graffiti? Where are you, you graffiti? Hmm. Old graffiti resembles a major arcana tarot card strength. Okay, let's go to the collection. The Empress. The Empress is a card of femininity and motherhood. She is authoritative, knows what she wants, and inhibits um, refinement and sensuousness. Oh, God. Never knew how to read that word. The Empress symbolizes creativity and growth and instructs us not to dismiss our unconscious impulses, but to trust our intuition. Ah, oh, here you go, guys. I don't have many many cards so far. Uh, by the way, those, those cards are so great. Like, damn. Um, I, think, uh, I think it was Jakub Rebelka who wrote, uh, who, uh, who uh, painted them. So amazing. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Milf Rogue and then uh, uh, then the heart. Uh, I'm glad you guys feel good about Rogue. Uh, like, um, actually, Rogue has been... Uh, Rogue is one of the characters that I had the pleasure to, to work on. And um, one, one of my objectives, sort of, and even though it may sound really weird as hell, was to uh, make sure that she is... Um, she is a character that you as a player you cannot really like maybe easily like read and you know know, know what is her what are her needs that is a character that was struggling but also like one of the things i wanted to do is to have a um mature female character that is still desirable you know that she is still interesting and she has still a lot of traits that uh, you know, uh, a lot of, like, I would say, players will see as attractive. And I think it kind of worked. You know, okay, Wakako wants to seal as another card. Damn, there's this Arch Nazare. Uh, by the way, the, the Arch um, the arch is, uh, you know, the one that we have, um, uh, you know, done in the cooperation with the, with the Arch, uh, you know, the company that uh, Keanu has. So, cool thing. Cool thing. Best bike? Oh, really? Okay. I may buy this one then. Are we getting Merc Knight third person narration from now? Oh god. Um, yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Let's see. Okay, guys, let's see what happens here. There are some bad people here, apparently. I was told. So Merc Knight is back. Uh, let's let the Merc Knight actually check his inventory. Because I think um, we didn't get this much loot. But I wanted to um, check, especially like the, yeah, this I can disassemble. Uh, yeah, there's a 
pieces I can disassemble. Hmm. This is so much weaker. Okay. Uh -huh. Why not? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, we literally found another example of the same trousers. Okay, let's check the boots. No boots whatsoever at this point. Uh, I think we are doing fine. I wanted to just jump to crafting and see, um, right, because we do not have, uh, wait, before I go, actually, I want to check where, not this thing, I wanted to check the attributes because um, we are working towards this um, edge runner artisan, right, the level 18, uh, so I think I'm gonna invest the te in technical ability again, um, so we are here and then I have one perk, let's see if there's anything that... Hmm. Reduces component cost of crafting items with 15%. This is actually pretty strong. Reduces the component cost of upgrading iPads day 10. Damn. Okay. Huh. Damn. Okay, I think I'm gonna go into cost optimization then. And purchase this one. Okay, I think we have no more uh, perks at this point so uh let's save the game and let's go okay let's go uh thanks pavu for this great game i got this month the platinum trophy for cyberpunk 2077 it's awesome awesome i'm really glad that you were willing to invest the time to actually get the uh and platinum the game it's just, it's cool uh that you liked it Pavel, today I saw Rogue's number plate. Um, it says Rogue One. <laughs> Is this a Star Wars reference? Uh, hmm. I mean, I guess you can say so. You know, like because it's even hard to hard to call it a reference in a situation when it's just directly this. But yeah, it was an idea from our character art team. So mm, here you go. Pavel go right? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, uh, cool. Um, it may take uh, some consideration. Go right for a hidden place. They are all hidden. They're all hidden. Uh, you mean the you mean the prison? Ouch! Ouch! Let me blast them. Okay, uh, guys, so uh, time to punish these bad people that apparently are here doing something. Oh, hello. Yes. Something glitched a bit. Entering close but it's quarters! Fine. Yes, I really no, no. like the you know smell of the burning cyber cycle at the evening, you know. Mmm. Nice. So, wow, okay, that's the uh, next level of Pilates, I have to admit. Uh, now in, in the air. Time to end this! Oh shit. Okay, I'm not dying yet. Huh. You are a bad person. Yeah. I have punished them. I have punished them, guys. Liberty. Okay. Memory boost, ram jump, and archive conversation. Let's look into that conversation, guys. Um, there's a, a conversation between Takeshi Ono and Deleted. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Arasaka got Pete, Jules, and Tim. It's fucking bad. The fuck? Must have grabbed someone other 
our job and whoever is uh, however it's talking we're fucked i wasn't even there just the runner support for him don't be fucking naive you know what they say mess with arasaka and you're fucked for life and we backed one of their engineers and we backed one of their engineers so even fucking better get out that scratch run to a ripper and get a fresh faceplate stat you're the fixer help me out shit the hit shit hit the fan takeshi everyone's on the road now i'm out you should have done the same and chum no fucking netronic they got better runners than you you won't haze them Oof. some intense action has been going on here as you can see darker speed square glasses okay interesting but anyway i think this this bad people here have been punished so i think i will mm. there's just behind the corner this two actually three things going on so let's clean this corner then and let's see uh what adventure awaits um for us Yeah, but, um, Camille, when you say go left from this place, you need to be aware that this place, ha I can turn different directions and go left, right? <laughs> so. Wait, what is going on there? Okay, I'll go through here. <laughs> Never mind, I'm lost now. Guys, I managed to make the Kami lost. Uh, the, uh, I, I think it's a small achievement, you know, on this stream. I managed to feel make, make Kami feel lost. Okay, that's Rogue herself. Hey, got a client. Well, actually, it's just Nancy's son who's looking to get back something that was stolen. And, yeah, that Nancy. The one who punched keys in Samurai. Wow. Oh, one more thing. If you could recover this gonk's wheels too, that'd be real nice. So, you in? If so, find the details attached. Okay, cool. Wow. I think I'm already pretty high level uh, when it comes to the street cred. I'm starting to get the uh, gigs from Rogue. Damn. Oh, this is a cool quest. Oh, is it? Okay. This is not technically a quest. This is a, a street story. So like open world content. But yes, I'm glad you liked it. Uh, Kit Kat Kate. Mm, let's see actually rare bootleg samurai recording oh i th i might know actually which one that is that's actually so cool um <laughs> that nancy about who you have absolutely no idea if you didn't read the lore behind before the game yeah but i think it's uh, why do you, do you think lepimon it's wrong actually because like uh, the um rogue is is she knows right um or this she does she at this point yet not sure not sure actually if she knows if if i'm no if sorry because like i got lost in the, in my thoughts regarding like if rogue knows about johnny being back so that when talking to me she knows she's talking to johnny so therefore uh, nancy would make sense yeah i don't it just sounds weird mm, i see Um, uh, the Ozref wrote Pavo, uh, in my sound rude, but I really don't like Nancy's appearance. I mean, she looks like a homeless woman with her clothes. I mean, does she? She just has, she just has like a, like a denim jacket and trousers. Like, hmm. When we'll be playing, we'll pay attention and we'll see if she really looks like a homeless person. Like, because if so, then each of us really need to, uh, upgrade our own wardrobe, you know, uh, my friend, because then a lot of us, uh, look like, uh, uh, homeless people. Uh, I feel, <laughs> you know, uh, so yeah, you know how it is. Um, okay, Geek, search and recover. There's this old saying, if it wasn't for fools, there would be no sages. The same is true for fixers. The fool who needs your help is a man named Dan, okay? Dan has a gambling problem. Lately, he managed to lose his car in a game of cards. To tell the truth, the rights, no great loss or anything. This guy isn't short on cars. 
What was valuable, however, was the one of a kind of a bootleg samurai recording stowed in the trunk. Wow. How did our fool come into possession of it, you may ask? Well, his Nancy's son. The same Nancy who played keyboard for the band in the days when that snot-nosed boy used to call me auntie. Wow. You get the album from me? Um, God tells me they haven't paved it out yet. It's probably still uh, stashed somewhere around the place. And if you can't swing it, grab uh, Dance Car for uh, Dance Car 2 for the little bonus. I'll snap you the coordinates and the guy's holding the goods. And be aware, he licks the boots of 16th grand Gang. So expect to deal with another fool, a stubborn one. Okay, that is, sounds a lot nice. Mm hmm okay guys I think um let's because this is the gig but we'll do the gig uh, for first let's uh, take care of those dudes here and we are moving on finally some action gig family heirloom cool um hi Pavo I love the game and wanted to ask you um what can you tell us about the future of cyberpunk? Uh, we the fans are dying to hear any news. Blink once or if the expansions are coming soon. Blink twice if the game is getting any quality of life updates. And what, uh, looked um, 508, I'm supposed to not blink at all right now. Like, as I told you guys, I cannot really talk about uh, to future updates because then my words are taken out of context uh, and then everybody claims that I have promised something that I didn't. Um, and you know, like I, one thing I can tell you is like at the moment when we'll be able to talk to you about it, we will, uh, we will, uh, definitely do this. And we have talked about it many times that we are not, uh, that we are planning to do, uh, many updates for the game. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. I guess what I can say for now, like, I think we have released uh, 11 or 12 patches at this point. So I don't think you can say that this is that it, that it's little. Okay, but this pure dude is still frozen, and he thinks that. Guess he still thinks that it's better not to do anything. Okay, my friend, I'm taking care of it. Don't worry. Surrender immediately. Okay. I will surrender like uh, what soon. The hell? Shoot him on the foot. Okay, I got it. I got it, guys. Um. Oh really? Okay. Well, you know, my aiming is a bit. Uh, it could be better, but you know, uh, I I think. Um, Things are improving. Things are improving. Hmm. There are so many gongs here. Holy hell. Okay. Anyone else catch that? I'm this fuck. I'm, I'm like. Is useless. I'm like a shadow. Well, okay. I mean, uh, holy hell. This is the. Body identified. Damn it. This is just a this is just a person, so I'm not going to touch them. Oh shit. That's one of the bots, I think. I have whooped their asses, guys. I think I need the new uh, you know uh, difficulty level. Uh, that's basically my conclusion uh, at this point. Because I am beating the shit out of them. Where are you? Hmm. Where are you, my friend? Are you inside that building, though? You probably are. Okay, let's loot the place and see. So let's loot the place and see um, where that last dude is. Uh, it's a copperhead. Okay, cool. That's nice. What is this? 
Weather Hat Combat Boots. Okay, perfection. Um, I think he's on the rooftop, isn't he? I think he's on the rooftop. Surrender. Well, I probably didn't have to aim, uh, you know, to kill him. But anyway, I uh, managed to do that. Okay, I'm over of combat, obviously. Hey, Pavel, not that the time that has passed, is there any quest for Witcher 3 or Cyberpunk that you wish was done differently? Hmm, interesting. Interesting question. I mean, to be honest with you, I, um, looking back at what we did um, in both Witcher and Cyberpunk, I very often wish we have done cer certain things differently, you know? So that's like... A normal thing, I would say. It's just very, very standard. I uh, think that as a creator, you will feel, you know, um, unfortunately, and there's little you can do, you know, about that feeling. It, it doesn't really feel, you know, um, it doesn't feel too good, unfortunately, you know, because you always, you always want to improve uh, as a creator, and it's just like, you always just land, um, in the situation that you're like concluding, oh shit, you know, I could have done this better, that better, or that better. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's like many different things. Um, like one of the topics that we talked about a bit um, is uh, the fact that, like, I think that uh, we could have, when it comes to the cyberpunk itself, we could have, oh, well, that's cool, I will do that. Um, no, I'll, I'll have this one. Um, when it comes to cyberpunk itself, it's just like, uh, you know, I think we could have, uh, made the um, uh, everything connected to like telegraphing choices and stuff for the players much more clear um, because like very very often you know I just like found um, I just see you know like players discussing you know hey uh, you know this doesn't have consequences or that and I'm just like this you know this is not true at all uh, like <laughs> sometimes literally like I, I even saw like situations when like somebody was writing on reddit hey, you know, there's no consequences to this or that. And literally on the screenshot that is attached, I can see that this uh, character, this, sorry, this player didn't realize um, that, uh, you know, something changed. They, but it's not telegraphed clearly enough. And as a player, you simply don't know, you know. So I think this is what I wish, I wish uh, we could have done um, differently. Like any specific quest? Hmm. Uh, I don't think that because okay, this is legendary one. Mm. Any specific like quest? Hmm. I really, I really don't think that there is any specific quest that I feel uh, is, by some reason, the one that I would point out to as a as the one that should be like updated in any way and so on and. We should be like, uh, ch we, we should change it. Like, I think the uh, quest that we did, I'm fairly happy with them, you know, because like, otherwise they wouldn't be in the game, right? Like, if there's something, you know, that we haven't been satisfied with, we, we changed or updated or like, try to like find a better way. Try to find like better ways, you know, uh, to implement it. So that's the, yeah, that's the reality, I think. That's of the situation right now. So, yeah, like we we guys like when we are working on like things for the game, we are very often um, we're very often like iterating and changing things and so on. And it's just like because our goal is to not to have in the game things that we are not happy or satisfied with and so on, right? That's always the that's always our direction, right? That's always what we want to. That's always what we want to do. Um, so because of that it's not really that easy like for me to point out something that i feel is um should be done differently um also because you know um also because we have uh iterated so much on it mm. okay
Arasaka Extreme Performance. Really cool thing that you can see here. Uh, tasty crayon, yeah. Uh, uh, whoops, old message. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I see that. Maybe your stream is lagging. I don't know. Like, I don't think we are lagging in general. Like, it works. At least at this point, it feels it works really smoothly, you know? How about Jackie's story could have that one been uh, deeper or longer? Uh, for question from Con Conceal. Um, hmm. Interesting, interesting topic. Like, that is something that uh, you guys have asked before about, and I talked about it uh, a bit. One thing that I can definitely say about, like, Jackie's storyline, like, it, uh, it definitely could have been longer, but um, the thing is that when you're working on a game as a game dev, like, and especially, like, somebody as me, so, like, be, I'm, I'm on a leadership position, so my job is to make sure that everything is, like, we put enough attention on certain things. And with Jackie's storyline, it was like this, that um, when, if we would put more emphasis and, like, make his storyline much longer, then basically it would mean that the first moment when you're actually doing the heist and introducing the... Um, you know, introducing the chip and therefore introducing the, um, introducing Johnny Silverhand would have happened way later, right? So that would mean that the main storyline would have to be shorter, like right? the storyline when you're actually playing with Johnny and developing the relationship with it, right? With, with him. So that's the thing, like as a dev, uh, as, especially as a lead of the team, I need to be very deliberate and very careful regarding like, um, any decisions that influence like the length of the game uh, on that side because like I need to make sure I need to make sure that basically each storyline is given enough time and space and, and sure like you can make a point that Jackie has been treated like uh, that Jackie's storyline had way too little like emphasis to it um, but if we would have made it longer other pieces of story would have uh, would have uh, been shorter and that's the thing like whoa I completely missed those dudes here fuck how the hell i missed them uh how the hell i missed them so uh, guys uh, what's important is like you have to remember like that the production schedule is made not made out of rubber right like you cannot prolong the production of the game infinitely right um and what's important for me is like the fact that they came from here they fucking flanked me Bastards, okay. That bastards flanked me from here. Wow, okay. So you, you guys have to remember that basically if the Jackie storyline would be longer, let's say that this is the direction it would go with, it means that other things would have to be shorter. Or we would have to prolong the production even more, right? And those are basically just oh it's always it's always just a question like this you know when it's enough and that's like one of the hardest uh questions to answer um as a game dev honestly and you know like i am by not by any means i'm not by any means uh saying that you know um what it what we did and and the decisions we made are perfect you know and so on um but that was that was something that felt right to me because like at this point you as a player you are um we want to introduce like the core story so like basically johnny silverhand the um you know relic and everything connected to it right and maybe we could have like you know used some of the time and tried to like prolong jackie's storyline a bit more um like we have used some of that time to just like prepare you know the quest for jackie's burial you know for you the one that we have played to, to just like make sure that you have a proper uh sort of like goodbye uh with uh with jackie who's your friend so that was one of the i would say one of the directions and one of the things that we have done to just make it feel better so yeah i mean overall um my answer would be i feel that it could be better to have a bit longer storyline for jackie but then i would have to face this um i would say difficult question as a as a lead of deciding okay so what else we are not doing and then if we are doing it anyway then how we are actually doing it you know how i can actually make it fuck how i can actually make it happen as a lead uh that like you know my team is able to make it other departments are able to make it um 
and we are not we are not you know falling into like crunch and like impossible time Wow. Holy fuck that damage guys. Okay, this is going to be this is going to be um difficult. Um Hey Pavel, can you tell us something about the decision about why it was changed how crafting works in CP compared to Witcher 3? Damn, I have no idea, man. Uh Dome R10. I I really don't know. Uh the th the thing is I'm not a um I'm not the gameplay designer, right? Like we, our RPG team is uh, is behind us, kind of decisions, and they are way more knowledgeable and equipped, uh, I would say, uh, to uh, to decide uh, about things like that. So I really cannot, um, I really cannot explain too much, to be completely honest with you. Uh, Pavel about retrospecting and feedback, one thing about the highest quest I don't like at all was Flathead's part. I feel like V should control it from a first person view, not from cameras. Jade Raymond, um, so, by the way, interesting interesting nickname. Um, so, uh, the thing is that we have tried it, you know. Uh, I think I, I mentioned it to you guys at some point in one of the older streams we have tried it to make it first person and it didn't really work well like as a, a, it feels really weird to be a spider in first person and uh like it felt not fun uh and felt not interesting and really really boring um in first person uh that sequence so that's why we were iterating we're like nah it feels much better to go first person direction and you have to trust me on this uh, when i'm saying that it was it, it was it was boring and worse and it was, and like, because our objective is always to deliver you the better game um, and make decisions that will make the game better. And in this case, it wasn't. And I know that from the player perspective, it may feel, but why? This, this, this clearly would be better. No, it wasn't. I can assure you it wasn't. Okay, guys, it starts to be kind of hot here in this corner. Okay. Nice. Uh, managed to do this. Okay. Okay, I just shot my grenade. Cool, 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 cool. I sometimes do that. It's a very powerful method of playing. Holy hell, that's Santa Vista, dude. Okay, one less, yo. <laughs> you need grenade launcher arm? Yeah, that is actually, um, uh, that is actually a good point. Oh fuck, I missed. I missed, guys. That was not good for me. Um, that's not what I tried to do. Okay, I really cannot, I really can't go Rambo style. Fuck. Okay. Looking good so far. Damn, there's so many cars here. This location. Okay. Wow, okay. Loot, man. I'm looting. I'm looking for the loot. I'm looking. Don't worry. Oh, there's an archive conversation. Let's check it out. We at Alkin is talking to El Captain. Hey, Cop, how's life? Um, no, dear fucking bears. What do you want? I got a right to sell Quadra Great Condition Low Miles Crash Free! Hmm, not interested. Hey, oh, don't you even know what I'm asking for it? Even free if too rich for me. You're a loser, rat. I don't do biz with losers. 
and then user L Captain has blocked you. Well, anyway, uh, you know, uh, you can see basically that uh, L Captain had this uh, very aggressive people trying to sell him shit. I, I, I think we can empathize, guys, right? We can empathize. After Muammar and all of them sending, uh, were sending us a ton of stuff. Um, find a bootleg recording. Ooh, sexy. Johnny's shoes. Bootleg shrunk. Car keys. I that gig. Blew my vocal cords out so hard I couldn't speak for a week. <sighs> Must have been fun to watch. Ooh. What, the gig? No. You not speaking for an entire week. <laughs> okay, V. Okay, V. V was like, V is just such a, such a savage for Johnny. <laughs> Must have been great. You were not speaking for a whole week. Damn it. I, I feel that my team sometimes feels like this about me. It's just like my voice is never, never broken. Sort of. Uh, like when it comes to that, it's all the vocal testing. Uh, I can't believe he fell for it. Yeah. My vocal cords, after all the all the you know um, sing, uh, singing training and, and so on, acting training are way too good. Uh, crazy car corner, <laughs> crazy car corner. Dear sir, your order is ready for shipment. It includes alloy wheel set eighteen. Lead skirt six, rubber coating spray times four, vinyl wrap chrome, iCar cooling fan times five, ebony diamond grill. Estimated liver time 48 hours. Thank you for your business. Crazy car corner. In the porno BD, um, we have. I always hit escape. Um, we have read it already. Let's go. Not even next day delivery? No. 48 hours. It's true. Thornton Owner's Manual? Ah, we have read it last time. Okay, we know the Thornton or uh, Manual. Okay. This car is fucking looking insane, by the way. Damn it. Holy fuck, that's like a unique caliber. That is rad. That is rad, guys. By the way, they like we have been customly designing the plates for the cars. Pavo, reload, please. Why I should reload? It's all fine. <laughs> you can take you can take it to yourself. Yeah, yeah. Why was it made so you can't have a good relationship with Johnny until the end of the game? Like for example, early on, most of the time you don't have a say in what V is going to say. Uh, to Johnny and most of the time what V is saying to Johnny is bad. Hmm. I mean, it's... Well... Is it really like the way you said it? Hmm. Like, the uh, what V is saying has a natural arc, you know, and the uh, relationship slowly starts to get warmer. And as a player, you have a say in, like, um, deciding, you know, how fast it sort of gets warm. Um, so I don't think it's exactly the case. However, you know, like, maybe there is still a little... Maybe, maybe there's too little, how to say it, variation in the way you can develop this, um, I think. Ah, oh, I can't do that? Okay, well, whatever. Okay, guys, let's loot everything here. Messages, implants for cheap, cheap, cheap. Huge savings on discounted secondhand cyberware. Don't miss out. Today's deals. Plastic Sinskin Pink. Hand size M. Second gen. Used one week only near mint condition. Tech hair. Green. Shoulder length. Luminescent. Second gen. Motorade use. Occasional flickering. Faint cigarette smoke smell. <laughs> Alloy feet. Chrome and painted. Men size 8. First gen light rust from lake water exposure. Price reduction due to lock of owner records. Synthetic calf muscle red. No casting. Mint condition. Second gen retrofit capable with older joint modes. Items go fast. So buy now. Continue following us for the latest and best deals. Damn. I'd love to do some commercial uh, voiceovers. 
that would be something, guys. Is the AI development something you as devs maybe underestimated originally or rather just an aspect you knew needed more work but didn't have the time resources for before lunch? Hmm. The thing is that, um, you know, when it comes to the AI development in general, you know, like this is something that our, uh, you know, UI code team and our gameplay uh, team was handling. So I'm not that close to the topic really to uh, judge and to tell you uh, precisely. Um, so I can't really, can't really tell, actually, to be completely honest. I don't really think that it was underestimated, to be honest, because like our... Um, AI team was fairly experienced like those are guys that um, those are guys that worked on AI for different games before so it's not that it was underestimated I don't think so however it's a, it's one of those topics that is very difficult to get right <clears throat> Can I fit here? Okay. Ooh. Deliver the car. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, guys. No, you will put that away. Is Mr. Boris doing some commercial advi uh, advertisement? Yes. Boris was doing it, but Boris is a native English speaker, so obviously his like pronunciation is much better than mine, right? I just sound like an absolute potato. So, uh, when it comes to accents, like, because my accent is a mix between, like, American and British and Scottish. So, it's just, it sounds, like, absolutely weird. It maybe doesn't seem, like, my accent doesn't maybe sound that Polish. But, it's, at least according to what I was told. Guys, look at these wet streets. Look, the, look at these wet streets. Oh, yeah. The wet streets. The streets are so at. Oh, yeah. Like a round of applause for a water in the street. Look at this. So damn wet. Sorry, I'm just driving like an absolute potato. Okay, I parked like a... Whatever. I have parked... Like just a potato. Well, anyway, it's at least in one piece. At least it was one piece. I can feel anything at all. Whoa, what the fuck? I'm just staying in the center of the road. Who had such a brilliant idea of connecting tarot cards together with characters' endings? It is, enter uh, it is so entertaining once you figure out meaning behind it and connect it to the dots. Yep. Um, so who did it? It was uh, Marcin Blaha, our story director, Mateusz Tomaszkiewicz, our story, our quest director, and me, uh, just a random dude. We uh, worked together uh, on basically making sure that uh, it will feel great for you guys. That was basically what. That was basically what happened. Okay, I'm supposed to deliver the recording. No, no, no. Let's go. For, uh, let's go from here. For now, I'll just finish the quest. I want to finish the quest. By the way, I love this restaurant. This is such a fucking cool place. That you can just go into these random places. And there's like people chilling. So cool. I've got your bootlegs. Huh? What bootlegs? What are you talking about? The samurai concerts. The ones you hired me to find. Dan, you're such a potato. Ooh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Shit, man, Shimura. Get the wheels, too? Uh, Tyler asked, was a car upgrade system ever a part of the game? Uh, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Like, we were talking to you guys about it before, so... Not much more to add here. Are you high? <laughs> okay. You scared right now? Scared? That's the word? What? That not allowed? You know how hard it is when your parents famous? You don't. Nobody does. Maybe you're a little Arasaka. Don't you get along with your mom? You don't get along with your mom? Okay. <laughs> you know, I don't even remember the last time I called her mom. Don't even call her Bess Isis or Mother or Nancy. Nancy. 
Yeah. The incredible one and only best ISIS. Oh. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Machiavelli wrote at least it would be nice to have changing of the colors of vehicles. Yeah, I agree. It would be nice, but damn, man. <laughs> nice reference. Yeah, I, I'm glad you got the reference. Uh, 3D man. Um, Machiavelli, like, the thing is, like, yes, it would be nice to have it, but holy hell, it's so much work. Like, look how many vehicles you have in the game and it has how many variations of the vehicles you have. Changing the color is not trivial. Like, with this many variations and our cars being so unique as they are, you know? So, Nancy is a control freak. I think that's why he, uh, her son uh, is like this. Mm -hmm. Interesting theory. Park downstairs. Keys are in the ignition. What? For real? That's fucking far out, Shum. I won't forget this. Okay. Cool. Let's uh, go, guys. I think we have. Oh, and their rogue is calling. Let's pick it. Well done, V. Our client's satisfied not only to get his hands on that recording, but the wheels too. Yay! A satisfied client means a satisfied fixer. Hell, you should be satisfied too. Her Contact voice actress is awesome. And payments on its way. Damn. Rogue, like Rogue, Rogue Rogue's voice actress did such a stellar fucking work. Oh, and there's a bonus? Oh, cool. It's waiting at the nearest drop point. Oh, wow, okay. There's something at the drop point for me as well. Uh, guys, uh, is there something bad going on here? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, guys, we need to intervene. Damn, this wet roads looks cool. Okay, guys, I sort of started to understand why you're feeling like this about roads. But let's go. The murky knight is back. And it's and he's angry. What are you doing to these poor people? Okay, let's go. Let's try it. Jesus, people are running away, but damn, I almost got shot. Time to heal. Regular roads above wet roads above most roads. Death incoming? Nah, not at all. Not at all, my friend. No, not me. Not Up, me. That. Fuck! That bombus is trolling me. Need to change the clip, guys. Needs to change the clip. Missed. Holy shit. How about now? Huh? Impressed? <laughs> you impressed? Okay, there's, there's this one gonk there. Yeah, here you go. You know. Time to loot everything. Time to loot everything. Okay. And you carry too much? That is so sad. Let me oh, let me jump into my inventory and do some cleaning. Ooh. Cool. Okay, it still it still works. It still works. Still works. Damn. Actually we are looking so fucking nice. It's awesome. Okay, dismantled. Dismantled. Time to go and look at the jackets. Oof. We have the second conflict jacket that is really looking nice. Oh, no. I look fat in it. No, no, no. I look fat. I'm not gonna wear it, something like that. Even though I, I'm glad it has the it has the Samurai thing. But no, I'm look, I look fat in this. No way. I need, I need my V look, looking better. So this is uh, unacceptable. Unacceptable. Mm. Thermoactive t-shirt. Tear resistant tacky shirt. Oh god. And there are clothing mods. Hmm. Is there a big difference though? Wow, okay, this one has much more armor. This is just a shirt. Okay, sorry, not gonna wear this one, even though it's cool. Any better shoes? Just I always find a crap shoes. 
Johnny's shoes are worse. I will need to, but I'm gonna wear them anyway. Um, I will actually dismantle them and make them because I think I can craft actually better ones, right? I think so because I should be. Uh, yep. Why it's blocked? Insufficient components. That's sad. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to do that. Any ideas in um, in the team to revamp the food system? It would be cool if there was a hardcore mode uh, that made eating mandatory. Huh, interesting question. Hop CTTV. Um, the thing is that um, this is a question primarily really to the... Uh, primarily really to the... Uh, to our um, RPG team, so I really don't know... I'm sorry, I, I don't want to like sound... Uh, sorry, I uh, still have too many weapons. I don't want to sound like I'm dodging your question, but uh, I, I really don't know, uh, simply. And um, I really don't like dodging questions, so... Um, I would have told you, like, I definitely like the idea. Like, that sounds cool, but again, like, that's something that our RPG team is working on, and, you know, uh, the guys would be able to answer this question much better than me. You know, uh, to be completely honest with you, I really need to go to the to my apartment to drop some of those um, some of those guns. Damn, the lazy is insane, by the way. Actually, can we hmm, go and go into crafting? Um, that's dying knight. That's not the one. That's the iconic lazy, but this is blocked, unfortunately. Okay, so. Uh, time to do more open world stuff so that I can have uh, I can have more components, guys. It's the plan. Let's do it. You can access your apartment stash from your view cost track. Yes, uh, that's true. Actually, very good point. A very good point. I'd love to need to sleep, but there really is only one place to sleep in the entire game. Um. Hmm, is that true? I'm just thinking like because like the safe houses uh, from from our romance partners are also uh, also having Spots, but yeah, I think that I think that you we don't you don't have the bed there. That's true Tyler. That's true Yeah, I can sleep over that carries. Yeah, that's true hmm. That's true, but exactly like this is one of the things that um, you know This is one of the things that we should be looking into and that's why playing with you guys and like talking about those things also like gives me more knowledge you know and i develop as a designer and i like that you know because i want to be better i want to be better searches recover okay oh there's this assault going on just behind the corner let's clean up this whole corner here uh and, uh <laughs> just Feels okay, man. I just got ha uh, just just got got hit by the car. I'd love to bring Nibbles in my car and drive around with her. Oh man, I mean it sounds awesome, but it's it's not that easy to make. Uh, but yeah, I mean you know how it is. Everything's possible. It's just yeah. Okay, that's a police. You guys are chilling here while no 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 no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just helping you guys. I'm just helping. You'll regret this! Okay, there is some... Well, okay! A Maelstromers! Holy hell! Oh shit! They killed the person there! That was like fucking execution or something! Holy fuck! I am, um, dude. You did. He didn't realize I'm just shooting them here. Okay, perfection. Let's check out basically what happened. Damn, they killed that poor person here. What was that? Was it this woman? No, that's a dude. Okay. Um, damn, that person was killed. Archived conversation. Carl and Molly. Uh, we got the mark on Tanya with the tigers. She betrayed us. Slinging splinters. She's running for them now, Maul. Shit, and here I'm sending out people worried something happened to the stupid cunt. Fucking Tanya. Talking, sir. 
fuck fucking zero hair. Chill, we got this. Yo, uh, we got her. Says we don't kill her, she'll give us some intel, data or something. Fuck that cunt! I want her dead! I will rip the data out myself! Wipe the fucking cut stain, make her an example to the rest! Savage people, I tell you that. Guys, just savage people. Okay, and then there's the archive conversation between Tanya and Andre. Okay, let's see basically the full story. What has happened here? <laughs> Feels good, man, when you're like, what, muting? The why, why would you mute? <laughs> well, that soundbite is going to be taken out of context at some point. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Pavel voice the DLC pack. <laughs> Narrates the whole game. Uh, listen, I don't deal for Maelstrom anymore. As of yesterday, I ran for the claws. That was? Honestly, not scared? They pay me more. Way more. New apartment types of, of more. And protection. Be a, a lead hat not to take advantage. Hope you're right. Wait and see. Why they hit up any, anyway? Connections. And I'll be their bridge. Yep, well, I mean, so uh, poor Tanya. I think it really didn't work out, you know, but at the end of the day, we came over and punished them for being uh, bad people. So, you know, guys, um, at the end, thievery. Hmm, okay. Let's go here. There is this assault in progress. Um, Imagine Johnny with my, my with Pavel's voice. Damn, guys, why would you want this? You don't want that. I pay for that. <laughs> Despina, you hear me every day. Uh, so, okay, let's go. Pavel is Johnny uh, V Panam Evelyn. Why wouldn't we want that? Uh, I, I don't know, guys. Like, maybe because they're, like, professionals. And <laughs> they're about supposed to do this. And I'm just, like, a random dude. Any thoughts on putting more random things to this, uh, to do this with your partner once Roman is locked in? Judy, for example, only repeats two lines every time you see her. Maybe one extra health bonus if sleeping in bed together and such. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, again, this is something that um, this is something that we could look into. the The thing is that uh, the thing is that you could you could say so, like regarding absolutely everything, you know, that you could add and add and add. And it's just like, yeah, I I mean, I do agree that from the perspective of a design, it would be fucking fantastic to have it, you know. But unfortunately, like we also have the production reality, you know, like. Um, you need to make things on time and you need to make the things with a really high quality, right? So, yeah. But me personally, I would love that. Okay, what is going on? There are like some people here. Is that police? That's not police, right? And the assault is going on here. Okay, so this is a bad person. I, um, I'm, I'm feeling. It's Militech. Yeah, I see it, because Militech took interest in some thing that happened here. Okay. Come on out. Now no, no, that feels right. Oh, yeah. Uh, a body identified? No shit. Oh, hello. It seems I have beaten all of them. Look at this, guys. Uh, very interesting artwork, by the way. Very interesting artwork. Damn, this RTX is so fucking cool. 
Target for elimination, guys. Let's check it. What happened here? All I want is dual pistols. How big or a small chance is there for it to happen, or who do I have to harass for it? Well, I mean, again, uh, Cedric, it's about it's it's gameplay designers, right, who are taking care of this. So uh, I honestly don't know how much work it takes. Like I know, knowing life, if the if it would be like I would say simpler to do, it would have been done. Uh, so there's probably like some things that we don't know about uh, looking at it from from this perspective, you know. Um, let's look at the, uh, the data. Target for elimination. Uh, contract payment status, paid in full. Target Rick Morales. Uh, profession Techie, Tunnel Construction. Associated with Aldecados. Height, uh, 5.10. Stress response, highly nervous. Target is hypersensitive, risk of impulse behavior. Skin tone light. Contract basis, theft of proprietary business information on the con construction of a maglev tunnel sale to third parties yeah it's so cool you know when our like op uh, open world team is like tying tying together you know like um things like this um so this is always this is always great you know um and then we have archive conversation between rick and unknown no too low by how much double it for one merely shard you don't like it Go in the tunnel yourself, find a way through. And I know you're with the Aldecados. Note like you're hard up. You're an Aldecados too. I was. Deal or not? Deal. Cool. You know, so we know what happened here. It's interesting because it's basically like telling a story, like a bit of a background story of uh, basically what nomads are doing and uh, uh, what is their purpose on cyberpunk world. And this is really cool, actually, that, um, you know, for those that don't know, like one of the important things uh, that the nomads are doing and, and have been doing in the lore is uh, doing all those uh, different um, uh, smuggling different goods, you know, through the border and so on. And basically nomads are primarily uh, being hired, you know, to do this kind of jobs. Uh, so this is always uh, it's always cool to like see basically various types of uh, various types of jobs you know that uh, nomads have been doing also you know for, for corporation the client Eastwood face yeah the Clint Eastwood face yeah exactly this is what I try to do for how long are we going to support the game I mean the expansion packs etc mostly oof I can't really talk about it like we said that we are going to uh, that we, we said I, I think on investors call uh, that we are going to uh, that we are investing into this IP and into this game a lot um, so that's as much as I can tell you right now like you know you guys know that we wouldn't have been doing all the patches we wouldn't have been doing the DLC um, the expansion now if we wouldn't feel that this IP really has an amazing potential and yeah it's just like I feel that things that we did in Cyberpunk, some of the things worked really well. Um, and those that didn't, we are going to improve. That is the plan. True love comes to die in Night City. Oh, uh, Kako, hello. Husbands cheat on wives. Oh, God. Wives cheat on husbands. Then they divorce and talk behind each other's backs. Oh, God, that's sad. Can you believe that? Well, Truly, yeah. Truly, I am shocked. Yeah. But do not despair. Okay. Today, I give you the chance to help one such divorcee. Okay. His name is Mr. Gutierrez, and he is counting on us. Mr. Of Gutierrez. Course, his marriage is beyond saving, but perhaps we can retrieve the checks his wife took from him. I am attaching more details. Okay. Okay, Wakako. Sounds good. What What is going on? Whatever. Guys, we are doing here this uh, marriage ad advisory, apparently. Uh, so here you go. Uh, Family-friendly stream. Making sure that, you know, the marriages can stay intact. All that. This is uh, my speciality. Where is Morgan Blackhand? Um, good question. Good question. He's a legend. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Is Wakako secretly a cat? Uh, I don't know. She definitely had multiple husbands, as we know. 
um, Tiveris, steal the shard with Emilio Guitares repository receipts. Okay, depository receipts. Would you like to hear about my fourth husband? He was very lazy, gullible, and felt too rich. I divorced him as quickly as I could and never made as much money in such a short time. With that said, can I really blame Mr. Gurites for stripping Mr. Gurit Miss Gurites down to the last any? Oh God. Of course not. In fact, I like to meet her lawyers. But enough about Miss Gurites. Our client happens to be injured party Miss Mr. Gurites. He lost his car and luxury penthouse. Now the poor fool has barely anything to live in because he felt uh, he left his depository receipts in their own apartment. The locks are already changed. You uh, have to retreat them because our new divorcee isn't going to give them back out of the of their kindness of their heart. That penthouse is on the last floor of the building. Don't worry, I'm providing you the ax elevator access. Okay. For obvious reasons, Mr. Grites is counting on your utmost discretion. If things go quietly, he will toss an extra. Aha. Uh -huh. They are paying extra for going quietly. Damn, this looks so cool. Wow. Some some random NPCs in this game have... Are you from around here? Um, I'm, I'm actually a nomad. So I'm not. Um, yeah. Cyberpunk needs to be online as well. Lots of people will play it daily. Oh, I'm sure well, lots of people would like. I'm sure that no matter what kind of content, I love Chartered Hill, uh, no matter content we will do, uh, it's uh, like people will uh, going to try it and uh, we will be there to make sure that it's highest quality possible. Yeah, Chartered Hill is insane. Like, look how clean this fucking place is. Did you say four? You sure? Paid a runner ten large so I could be sure. Not gonna see a single any while that bastard's still And alive. you can see like a very interesting like mixture of the crowd. You can see that you have like much more, you know, like look at look at this for instance, right? Uh Haley Vogue. Vogue. Haley is just like walking around here, you know, all chill and so on. Uh and you can see that on the streets here, like you have just much richer people, you know, uh, sitting around here and so on uh, and preparing for different things, I guess. Um, and here discussing things in the uh, work in the corporations, even though you have some hobos walking around, like the place is just much richer and cooler looking. Okay. Go to the top floor. Okay. Can't be diet and exercise. What's your morning grind? Nano cleansing cryomass. Then a hundred sit ups, two dopa tabs, and a spoon of royal jelly. You mean from like bees? I thought they went extinct ages ago. World's a garden of Eden if the eddies are right, bees included. Want me to hook you up? Your skin will thank you for it, bro. This is so cool, actually. Like, um, you know, the, the introductory chats like this and so on that for me as a player, uh, when I walk in, they just make sure that I'm like, well, you know, in the atmosphere of the place and stuff. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go to the top floor. In our elevators. 100 sit-ups with a puss. <laughs> yeah. When's the Blood and Spirits DLC when, where V does a retire in the middle of America brewing whiskey coming out? I have never heard of that, Tapeta. So I don't know. I suspect that, uh, you know, you don't know either. Um, so yeah, okay guys, we are here. I love places like this. This is so nice. Okay. Nice. Thankfully, my technical ability. 
Oh no! Ouch. Okay. Oh, poor camera just broke. Guys. Are you going to play, uh, play optical camo in this playthrough? Uh, maybe not today, but I'll already fuck. No, why? Oh, you mean the fucked uh, stealth? Yeah. You know, I am not the best in stealthing, to be honest. So disappointed. Okay, guys, let's. What the fuck? Okay, um, uh, yes, uh, we definitely need to uh, employ a different tactics. Why you were doing so well uh, earlier? I mean, I'm, I'm doing well when it comes to the combat, sure, but I, I think that I have screwed up the, uh, you know, yeah, the, my um, sneaking playthrough. Remain undetected. Oh, yeah. Yeah, guys, I'm so undetected right now. Holy fuck. Let's go. Let's go, my donks. Let's go. Damn, this place looks cool. I love this. Okay, there's a drone there. Hmm. Better not to touch it. Such a cool fucking location and like apartment. Pavo Ninja Sasko, yeah, exactly. That's pretty much uh, how I'm feeling. It's pretty much how I'm feeling. Let me snatch this. Mmm. Cool. Oh, did they get a pack of condoms? Cool. Nice. Okay. Um. Okay, whatever. I'm just pure distraction now, whatever. I actually wanted to die to be able to click a uh, load checkpoint and surprisingly, surprisingly long. I was surprisingly tanky, you know? <laughs> I'm crying. Why are you crying? Tell us. Hello, my name is Eric Iqbal, and this is WNSC. Why are you crying? Tell us. Like, we are all friends and family here on the stream. Like, tell us actually what's going on. Uh, is it is ray, tra ray tracing on? Yes, it is. Like, you can see it, right? Like, all the reflections and so on. How the light is bouncing here. Like, uh, I'm playing on Ultra with everything, uh, with uh, the... With everything else on Psycho. So yeah. You can see that it's custom and here everything's maxed out. Everything's maxed out, DLS, uh, LS balanced. That's basically my setup. And I find it like for my gear the most, uh, like this works fucking wonderfully. And honestly, I have for most of the time, I have like between um, 85 and like 120 frames. It's just that, um, uh, because um, because for the stream it's better to stream at 60 than I have it capped at 60. Okay, we have stolen that drink. Perfect. Okay. Oh, 
we shouldn't go there. Let's go and steal that. Wait, how am I supposed to get there? Okay, it's here. The drone is patrolling. I'm crying because you said, ooh, I got a pack of condoms. Then you walked through the door and got fucked hard. So yes, I cried laughing, lol. Well, okay. I mean, in a way, it's an interesting story, right? Like, I got a pack of condoms and... Uh, yeah. But anyway, family friendly stream. Okay, all the components. Ooh, a something poppin'. Liberty! Mmm! And that's the one, guys. That's the one. We got the shard. Okay, this is great. Let's check if we have anything here. My shards. Blinds broken. Next legal steps. Emilio is writing to Nina. Nina, give me back my shards. It's my property and you know it. I don't want to make a big deal out of it or anything, but I need them back. Can you do this like can we do this like adults, please? How did we grow so far apart? You're still asking? After what you did? Fuck off you self-centered prick! Surprise! The blinds in my kitchen are broken again. How hard it is to find a competent handyman in this town to fix them properly i want a refund for the previous repair and then i want to send a professional who wouldn't be overwhelmed by this apparently sisyphus task this time free of charge of course uh mr gires uh Gires. we're working on it and deeply apologize for the inconvenience and then we have next legal steps explained uh, we have already repurposed Mr. Amelia's Gires apartment and vehicles. The next step is to establish regular alimony payments. As your lawyer, I should warn you that our chances of winning that are unfortunately quite low. You don't have children and you also have a well-paid job. Uh, maybe you have a chronic illness. Uh, we could have uh, maybe tried to saddle your husband with medical costs. Sincerely, Brad Drake, an attorney at law, Asuka and Finch. I can uh, temporarily quit my job. I'll ask my ripper dog for a professional opinion that uh, should play well in court. Uh, there are also plenty of diseases out there. I I'll think of something. Um, and just remember, I'm paying you to destroy the son of a bitch's life. I wasted 15 years of my life with his pathetic ass. Uh, you know, just a nice person all around. Nice person all around. Uh, as you can see, guys. Um, whoop. Escape the building. Okay. I'm supposed to remain undetected. It's us. Let us escape the building. Okay, let's go through here. And now, I'm so fucking sneaky. I'm so sneaky. Okay, let's look around. That's the elevator. Yeah, that's the fucking ninja sneaky way. That's it, that's it, guys. Look at this. I'm fucking detected. Nobody knows I'm here. Start tapping and random stuff as well. Okay, let's leave the building, guys. We're so fucking sneaky. Let's go, let's go. Very, very slowly escape the building. And we can go and deposit our shark. Let's go. Watch out! 
Okay. Condom secure, returning to the base, over. Exactly, deposit the job item. Oh God. I always hit the wrong button, by the way. Until death do us part. Something I cannot say about Mr. Gutierrez's divorce. Marvelous work, V. Closing the contract. Oh, thank you. I mean, thank you, Akako. <laughs> thank you, Akako. I was, uh, yeah, yeah. That's just the way I am. Uh, fabulous, finesse. Uh, yeah, um, uh, that's pretty much my middle name. Okay, guys, uh, let's go and fuck some shit up now. Uh, <laughs> um... Anyway, anyway, um, oh, we have diverted here. I just didn't realize, like, we are so far. So I guess let's let's start doing uh, other stuff and slowly, you know, go through that content. This game is fucking insanely big when it comes to amount of stuff that you can do. I don't know how some people beat it in, like, 20 hours or something. You have to, like, just just not play the game, I think, to beat it in, like, 20 hours. Holy hell. Oh, there's a ripper dog. Hmm. Hmm. Let do, let's do this. Let's do that bit. Oh, damn. I really need to replace my keyboard. Guys, my escape button is broken. Uh, partially. Um, and it just reacts in a weird way uh, when I when I press it. Before you settled in Corpus, Street Kid or Nomad's life path, what other life paths were on board? Uh, there were no other life paths actually on board. That was, that was pretty much our first sort of uh, idea, I would say. Yeah. Very early, so there was no really other um, other other ideas that we've been considering. Uh, to be, oh, I can save now? Why I can't? Why I can't? Sorry, guys, my nose is itching me. Um, this game is dope, Pava, well done. Uh, thank you so much, but uh, please remember it's a work of the whole Free, team. My dear. I'm just a one. I need you to pay a visit to a tiger hey, Wakaiko. and retrieve something for me. Okay. I know you are up to the task. You're right. I am attaching more information. Right. Read it carefully. I will. She is such a nice person, you know. Okay, let's guys check out. We have some thievery to do, you know. I always wanted to kill Dexter's bodyguard. Why can't we go after him in act two? Huh, good question actually. Well, I mean, the assumption was that Takemura took care of everything, didn't he? What kind of, uh, you know, uh, I would say security agents, agent he would be if he wouldn't? Uh, Steel Vortex credit chip. Tiger Close Casino on Longshore South. Okay. The vulture is the wisest bird. <laughs> okay. Wakako. <laughs> While others lose strength in the pursuit of the prey, the vulture waits patiently. It only spreads its wings when it smells blood in the air. Okay, cool. You will be my vulture, V. I heard a Tiger Close Casino has been robbed by one of their own, a dealer. The girl had an alias, Vortex, and she managed the casino's machines. She programmed them to, scream, uh, to skim a small percentage, so a drop from each win landed in her bucket. It took years uh, for the tigers to realize how they were being cheated. You can imagine they were not too pleased, but their ferocity extended too far. Vortex died during the interrogation before revealing where she stored the stolen money a vulture is wiser than a tiger v you will find it i'll send you the vortex last known location don't let me down okay i never do i never do akako you know that i never do right hey why is there no flashlights in the game i mean probably the answer is very similar to why there's no any other feature in the game right like it's just not everything always can be added uh, to the game, you know. It's just there is a limit uh, of the features that you can place inside your game and not make it implode, you know. And Cyberpunk already has so many features. This location is really awesome. I love this. 
This is so cool. Damn. This is so awesome. Oh. Hello. Okay. Some kind of blood. Interesting. She didn't say to do it quietly, right? <laughs> Why are you playing with DLS on? Uh, it looked like I have. Uh, it, it looked like the game is performing better with it, but I don't know. I, I'm j I was just really trying like different things. Like my specs are so strong that I honestly can run this game in with any setup. You're a goddamn saint putting up with the same fucking questions all over again. Um, uh, you know, whatever. It's okay. Besides, it's not the same questions. Maybe, maybe, you know, my secret is that I'm just so slow and I just simply don't understand and don't get uh, which question are, which questions are, uh, you know, I, and I forgot which questions and I answered. Here you go. <laughs> When stealth goes wrong, yeah. Okay, my dear chooms, let's do it. Where is that loot, though? Oh, did I? Oh, did I miss some loot? I did. Okay. Okay, I got it. Okay, guys, let's go. A time for some action. That's not exactly what I meant, but you are going to be punished by my favorite gun. That I upgraded to insanity. Fuck. That was not good. That was not good. Bad Pavel. Bad Pavel looked away and got killed. Lizzie's is a timeless classic. Yeah, exactly. 127. <laughs> Do this mission subtle. It's way cool. Okay, bro, show me your ass. Uh, well, I mean, not, 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 not exactly. It's not exactly what I meant, but you know, I take it. I'm just worried I will get flanked, but okay. Who fucks that idiot? Oh, he he backed out. You bastard. Okay, guys, let's go. I will grab this. Uh, there is so many like cool stuff that I'm finding. I need to look if, into upgrading my guns. Wait, what? <laughs> Police legal activity? No, 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 no. I'm doing. I'm working for a fixer. Come on. I'm working for a fixer, come on. A Vortex Scratch Chip! Oh, I got it! Okay. That's good. Hello. No, 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 Okay, um... Let's loot all the stuff that is here, um, because why not? Especially during combat. Oh fuck! Hey dudes! Oh. 
What was going on? <laughs> I literally like walked in and there was like three dudes like standing in the same spot. You can't leave, don't die. I uh, mean, okay, I'll do my best now. Promise. I learned to like combat in this game so much, guys. I have to tell you, like, I don't know. It's just... Okay, I'll try to flank them from another direction. The you know, direction that they won't expect. Come in, I'm Deadly Pavo on a mission. Fucking Deadly Pavo. That's it. That's it, dude. Oh shit, that was innocent person running away. That I shot. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Bloodthirsty Sasko killed civilian. Yeah, I got, I kinda did. I unfortunately did kill civilian. I, um, I promise that that was not intentional. Holy fuck. I entered another place. Jesus, my gameplay is so chaotic. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Merc business. I forgot what was the, where was the entrance to the location. Holy hell. Uh, was it? Ah, oh, yes. Okay, I got it. Saved. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm very sorry for killing you. I didn't want to. Uh, but the Twitch chat forced me to. Like, uh, that's it's. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Oh, that's the bouncer. Cool. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, that's a person. That's not a... That's also like... Holy hell, I need to be careful with my grenades. I need to be careful with my, with my granite, grenade playstyle. Because holy hell... Uh, Jesus, police legal, legal, legal activity. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not killing these poor people. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's do this. Wow, there is it's so many of them. I mean, honestly, it's like, fuck. There's plenty of these dudes. Damn. Okay. Let's loot stuff. Damn, this person. I, I, I think it just you know encounter with me didn't end up well for them. Holy shit. Holy shit. Time for a different gun. Okay. Yep. 
Yes, let's get it. Let's get it, guys. More collateral damage than a drone strike. Holy... But it's not the, the Sasuke way exactly. Why were the cops called? Because like by accident, because there were people in the casino uh, that they were shot, uh, I think by me. Uh, I mean, maybe not shot, but I think what happened was uh, one of the uh, grenades exploded in a way that uh, one of them died. Hey guys, just, uh, you know, eye-hand coordination, uh, LCS Pavo is back. Time to, uh, time for some serious action. Um, yes, um, perfect. I think he's ignoring it, lol. Uh, I'm ignoring what exactly, sorry. The fact that I can damage... I'm not joking, I'm actually writing the quest line. Oh, what, what kind of quest line you're writing? Got to do a James Bond. Oh my god, police ending search is my message signal. And I'm checking my phone all the time. <laughs> Oh, it's an interesting that's an interesting uh, um, message signal okay guys I will now uh, now uh, done fuffing around done fuffing around um, let's do this so first I wanted to check something can I actually craft the because this is not this one I want to craft ah uh, I'm still missing the uh, the epic item components. Yeah, still missing the epic item component, sadly. Okay, let's leave it for now. Um, I wanted to uh, really quickly uh, check if I'm um, for sure like using the best gear I have uh, so far. Damn, my escape button is terrible. Uh, I have to tell you guys this. Guys this. It is broken. It is really broken. Hmm. Liberty and Crusher. Hmm. Okay. For now, we'll just leave them as they are. Um, okay. Let's let's try to uh, do this. Toilet quest spam? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Oh, that was a guest. I was not somebody trying to kill me. Okay, now there is this a uh, really difficult moment. Uh, you can do mission without uh, ever showing your weapon, but just talking uh, with a bartender. That's cool. That's cool. That's nice. Let's uh, tweak them with some uh, grenades. I'm working with the immersive roleplay dev team to create a new quest line where you have to clean all the dirty toilets in Night City. Do you have any quest tips as a designer? Um, make sure it's a rewarding experience, you know.
make sure it's a rewarding experience. I'm talking about the, you know, the toilet skinning, uh, the toilet skinning quest line. So. Oh shit. That's that's the police I think that the P that came over. Uh, guys, uh, uh, time to uh, time to run, time to run, time to run. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, um, I'm I'm going away. See ya. See ya, boys. That's not what I wanted. Wow, okay, there's a lot of them here. How? Okay, well, you know what? I have a different idea now. Two stars, holy power. Yeah, exactly. Like, it was just too many grenades. Uh, so many innocent people died in this mission. I think Pavo don't deserve good ending. Um, yeah. I will now play slowly. That's my plan. Slowly and carefully. I just reacted shooting instantly when I saw her run. I need to work on my uh, reflexes, guys. Because my, my trigger discipline is, is not too good. That bastard was trying to like run behind me to flank me. <laughs> Shit. I ha, got one star already. Watch where you're walking. Hopefully uh, no more uh, stars will uh, happen. Slow like it li slow it slow it slow like lightning yeah exactly exactly like this I need to be like killing those single dudes rather than like throwing the grenades because there's too many uh, too many innocent people there oh such a such a chill such a chill evening guys you know just killing tiger claws okay Getting killed by the tiger claws? No, I'm not getting killed by the tiger claws. Not at all. Not at all, my friend. Ah, here you go. A steel toe. Hmm. What it was? Uh, I got some interesting loot. Yeah, yeah. Dude, better escape. Better escape, there are bad people here, I tell you that. And I'm not talking about myself. Uh, yes. Um... Okay, let's check it out here. Uh, <laughs> chat, in this mission you can just talk to Burton and Pavo, so anyway, I start blasting. <laughs> I just can't carry more items. I'll just dismantle some stuff in a moment. Um, messages. Let's look at it. Fix ceiling. Okay. Maki is talking to Lori. Hey, uh, when we're getting someone to plug that hole in the ceiling, you know, 
in storage behind the bar. Not urgent, I know, but it's ugly as sin. I'm getting all kind of critters crawling through. I'm tired of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't fucking ignore this email. We got a runner helping us score back the Eddie's Vortex swipe from the casino. We got him a room on the second floor. So give the guy some peace and fucking quiet, you, you will, yeah? In the medicine lottery. Okay, um, I'm always hitting escape. Uh, why the hell I'm doing that? Okay. Anything here, uh, Worf? Uh, that's just the network. Let's just turn it off because why not? Um, no porn this time around. Great, uh, nice uh, people are here. Um, so guys, I'll just... Uh, just I will just manage my inventory because, uh, again, I, ch I have, like, herded so much stuff. Um, and, yeah, all these white weapons are just trash. Are just trash. Yeah, the green ones, too, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can dismantle it all, to be honest. Happy Action RPG Sunday. Exactly. Um, what is your favorite game uh, weapon in the game? Uh, I think it was always the... It was always Johnny's Pistol. You know? So... I can actually... There's the behind-the-scenes story uh, by Seth uh, H. Uh, so I can actually, guys, tell you, talk to you about uh, a bit be, uh, about the Johnny's Pistol uh, from the big base game. So the thing is... Uh, f f from, from the base game. From the game. So the, the thing is that the uh, Johnny's, uh, Johnny's Pistol was something that we really wanted to do. Um, and uh, I remember, like, talking to uh, Pavel uh, Kapawa, our, like, uh, gameplay designer, you know, who was working... I feel a bit fat in this, though. Uh, who was working in the... Um, you know, uh, on, on gameplay side, you know, to just make sure that we'll, you know, g uh, give the, uh, you know, Johnny really iconic, like, great, great looking and feeling gun. Um, and the, um, exactly like the ones that we just, uh, uh, exactly the one uh, that we made was basically just an idea, uh, was a result of just long discussions, how to make it feel great and so on, because we wanted Johnny to feel like a, like a gunslinger, you know, that was supposed to give, make you feel uh, like this as a player, so that you really, um, so that you'll really feel like a, like Johnny Silverhand at the moment when he, you know, raided Arasaka. And that's why, you know, there's like, there's this moment, you know, in Love Like Fire when you're shooting as Johnny and so on. Um, so yeah, we really wanted to do this uh, in a way that uh, this, this gun that you will get and then the shoes and then, um, you know, the jacket and then um, also Porsche will uh, let you as a player really feel like Johnny Silverhand, you know? So that was our uh, our angle, our approach, our approach. Okay, find the quad, find the vortex. Mm -hmm. It's actually showing me to go upstairs, I think. Right? Okay, I think it's this one, this, this here this space here Witcher 3 katana all the way yeah yeah I mean I do I do uh, have I think the black unicorn I do have the black unicorn in my inventory but it's just like I know I prefer shooting than uh, being close maybe it's also because like um, really I need to be careful when I'm playing on hard uh, and yeah, so that's the re I really need to be careful when I'm playing on a heart, so that's why uh, I'm, I'm pre I prefer to shoot. Like when I'm with Katana, I'm too close, just way too easy to die um, by accident, yo. Find the Vortex Scratch, okay. Um. I feel that the Vortex Crate Chip, guys, is here, isn't it? Isn't it? Yep. Looks like this one, right? Okay. So I think we can actually... We can actually get out from the casino. 
because we have everything so we can go to the drop point is that line around the gun site intentional uh, a line around the gun site um sorry oh the one here yes uh, it's the it's the scope right the one on the right side at least as far as i know not sure like maybe ayano would know a bit better but as far as i know yes it is intentional why it shows me here to go to the drop point though is that a shortcut nah because it was okay gps was just uh which gps was just going crazy here anyway let's go to the drop point guys um holy hell i was shooting there people are terrified and it's done and it's done i hope the wakaka is gonna call me whoops oh hello wakaka i have received information that vortex's shard is on its way you did not disappoint me that deserves compensation oh really i am closing the contract and transferring your fee thank you wakaka this is so nice of you you know this is so nice of you um johnny silverhand wrote hey so in the cemetery of the game you can fill in the niches from characters the option to kill if i kill some characters the niches don't appear maybe it's a bug but uh, that needs to be looked upon lots of them don't appear when they uh, one day uh should uh what uh, which kind of characters uh, sh uh do not appear and should uh, let us know like I, I think it would be best if you could just message our customer Jesus, support the because the thing is like maybe we have missed some ca some important yeah, characters yeah, and this is absolutely possible like our angle was to show it but it didn't also work for all of the characters so that's why it's done in a symmetrical manner um again that not all of the characters uh show up there and that's mostly intentional right that's not an accident um so i just wanted to differentiate that like the accident that maybe some characters we have missed that should be there uh but not all of them should just because from the narrative perspective it wouldn't work i mean it wouldn't work it wouldn't make much sense if those characters would be there you know so that was the yeah exactly and ayano just posted the uh, link to our customer support exactly oh guys we got a message from pan am mm. This is cool. Panam said, Hey V, how are you? Everything okay? How are you feeling? You remember that you have friends uh, that you have me? Let me know how things are going. I hope you're getting somewhere with that biochip thing. Hey, things aren't easy, but I'm getting by. Uh, hey, things aren't great, Panam. I'm getting by, I guess. She cares so much. Yeah, she does. Uh, listen, Sour Life been thinking about how to get this family back at its feet. We have a plan, but the most important thing is we might be able to help you. Oh. What kind of plan? Trust me. Okay. If everything goes according to the plan, then uh, let's uh, just see the train heist has got nothing to do with this. Okay. <laughs> Interesting trust her yeah exactly okay well seems to be everything at this point um we'll see there is i need to get in here um on a license security evidence uh -huh. mm. let's guys uh, let's go guys and let's take care of these gonks that they're here Pavel, please make the star ending cannon so we can search for the cure with the nomads. I'm not commenting on it. Surrender. I know you guys would, would, would like it, like, you know, uh, and I know that. The, the thing is, like, I mean, me personally, as a designer, I feel that we should take into account all, you know, all endings, you know, that players have, and not really, like, you know, make one cannon and so on, so... It's just like, I'm, I'm not really a fan of like making something canon and something not. It's just like, hmm. I don't know. I prefer the way we have handled it from Witcher 2 to Witcher 3, for instance. 
So like we tried to like explain as much as we could um, from like those those different versions and so on. Let's see what we have. Archive conversation between John and A. Aiden. Uh, we got the dealer, one who was selling on our turf. Zero him, but make sure everyone can see it and hear it. We want our employees buying from us. Sure thing, and another thing, Chum told us where his stash was. Cords are here, and the coats. Don't send me that shit. Just haul our ass there and grab everything. And we'll sell them ourselves, our prices. Hmm. Here you go. So they were basically here looting stuff. Curious actually if I can find this. Really? To make it worse for yourself, come out? I mean, who, who tells me that? Okay. Oh, I got the... I can get to the dealer's stash uh, like this. Huh? huh. Interesting. Okay. She attacked me! I did. She attacked me! Oh no, that's uh, terrible. Okay, that person is uh, innocent, so I won't do anything to him. Okay. Come on out. What the? I have punished you for trying to kill me and for not being nice to me. This is what happens, you know? Oh, report because supply management? Okay, so we got it. Mm -hmm. And then there is this tactician. Wow. Okay, this tactician looks interesting, guys. Arcade conversation between Richard Ripsey and Pamela Link. Richard, who sent you? Robert. Yeah, well, tell him... All I'd gotta talk to anyone else about me. Too many people know already. Sure, uh, so you gotta hook up uh, with those boosters? Which ones? The 12 hour ones cost more. Yeah, those. Need 15 or so. Okay. Uh, for us, and uh, they were still cheaper than the ones the corp tells us to buy. All right. Yep, here you go. No, we have learned a bit of background here. Um, we actually, like, I have found some epic components, which is always fantastic. Um, anyhow, I think... Mm. Uh, let's uh, disassemble stuff, and we'll look into the crusher, actually, that they got, because, like... Those guns are actually starting to be really interesting. The ones that are that are um, dropping. It's midnight. Yeah, I know, Carol. Uh, Camille, it's midnight. We will be streaming thirty more minutes, and uh, then uh, then I will wrap it up. I wanted to try, you know, try it out like a longer form uh, and see basically how you guys are liking it. You know. Okay, let's try this. Uh, crusher? Hmm. Okay. So, this is the... Uh, right. So, nothing is pretty much better than... <laughs> uh, the Lizzy is actually, like, the highest DPS. I actually probably will replace uh, this tactician here and just get the scope for the tactician. Yeah. This one is feeling good. Mm-hmm. Lizzie is like such a fucking OP gun, by the way. Yeah, I think it's a I think it's a good combination actually. We have this shotgun, we have uh, we have Overwatch. Oh, God, sorry guys, my escape button is pissing me off. Yeah, this is cool. Um, one thing I wanted to check is the upgrades, basically. Um, for oh, I can upgrade my Lizzie already, but let's look at. Uh, and I can upgrade the Overwatch again. Boom. Um, okay, let's go. Let's go. Uh, can I upgrade? No, I can't because I get run of those. Okay, well, that's... But I'm using the... Um, 
uh, I'm using my Overwatch the most anyway. Uh, so I think this is a good deal. This is a good deal. Uh, Overwatch got more powerful even than it was, which is awesome. Are you planning on crafting mods for your clothes? Uh, I, I actually like my um, my clothes do not really have this many mods and I don't really have uh, this many mods right now. Like I wanted definitely to, oh, I actually found even better jacket. Hmm. I like this one more though. I like this one more. Oh, and uh, because I'm 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 high enough level, but the difference difference in armor is uh, noticeable. So, uh, it's fine. Yeah, I I uh, I do not have this many uh, clothing mods. Uh, time to dismantle this whole thing then, not to carry it if I'm uh, about to play like this. Um. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. Longer streams on Saturday sound neat. Huh. Yeah. They sound neat. I do uh, agree with you. We'll see. We'll see. You know, like, uh, this is a stream number 20. So, in time when we'll be, like, you know, um, just moving forward and, like, uh, seeing how uh, actually, you know, the... Uh, viewership looks like and you know what you guys like and what you don't uh, then that will be adapting because you know i obviously want us all to have fun here um so uh we'll see let me just now try to uh actually look at that a look at that tarot card that is somewhere here actually should be able to find it Yeah, I'm at the hostile area. I kind of feel that that's the case. Uh, hmm. I kind of feel that's the case. Oh, oof. I was like, where is that? Where is that, uh, you know, graffiti? And that it justice guys that's justice justice is the card of a conflict resolution it proclaim it proclaims the need for order to see through lies and deceit and a return to the neutral state of affairs justice implies a just sentence but also due process interesting it's a it's such an amazing like drawing for the justice card holy hell like those cards are so yeah i love the style of those cards yeah this is jakub rebelka that's the guy that was like uh, uh, drawing stuff for us for the witcher 2 and witcher 3 um uh, like uh, i don't, you guys probably remember this famous video like animated one uh with like how witchers are and so on like i think those were um rebelka drawings so yeah looks uh, feels really great actually to um with this uh, uh to find those drawings in the game and honestly like it's just such a um i would say it's just such a, a cool cool thing you know that those uh, drawings are in in some way you know like connected to the game and so on so as a player i can uh you know understand more of a oh okay as a player i can actually understand more of a main story and so on and it uh, just gives me gives me different context so cool thing all around i think uh let's time to get my bicycle and uh we will drive to that uh to the two locations that i found people that missed the last for a uh, question for walking boot on yeah i know uh let's say that we know about the topic you know yeah Hmm, 
interesting. I feel I've been here because like there is so many dead people there already. Um Oh, the A AV flew off. Okay, the AV flew off uh, from here. Uh, let me, guys, uh, look. What is going on here? Hmm. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. There is a uh, exclamation mark there? Hmm. These people are really hating me. Let's go. Uh, there's, uh, I think it's an excellent way to end the stream on a high note uh, with some deaths. Um, oh, I think I killed one dude with one, bu two dudes in one bullet with one bullet. Nice. Okay. What the hell happened here? Was that me? No, that wasn't me, right? Holy hell, those people are terrified. Oh, I think I have killed the majority of them, but just didn't grab the thing before when I've been here. Archive conversation between Militech soldiers, I think. Hmm. Reporting status. Strikers not responding to orders. Give them a final warning. Done. No response. Workers continue to block factory entrance. To block factory entrance. Requesting permission to open fire. Permission granted. Fire at will. Wow. Okay. Damn. So they basically start, start shooting to people here. Damn. Okay. And Militech was sent here because they were striking. Yeah. That's a cyberpunk world to you guys. For you guys. Who did Platinum of CP77 before the release? Uh, I mean, our QA did. Our QA did. I wonder story-wise what happened to Johnny after ending of the game. Well, I mean, the question is, which ending did you have? Did you have? Because each of them is slightly different. Right? When it comes to, like, what is actually what has actually happened to... Uh, what has actually happened to Johnny, so... Um, I think that that's the, uh, that's the best answer for you. It a bit, it just depends a bit, you know, what's your story, like what uh, version that you have played. Not good to be French in 2077, most likely. Okay, guys, let's go to this last, uh, last one here. Mm. Okay, it seems that it's there in the garden, and we need to get to this Kiroshi factory. Okay. Wow, they have a really nice uh, garden here. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool, actually. Like visually. Oh, because this is a cemetery, I think, is isn't it? Yeah, it is a cemetery, actually. Damn. Okay, I feel I need to save the game. Okay. One person done, right? Okay, guys, um... Cool. I mean, uh, you know, it's uh, going well so far. Hmm. Hmm. Look, 
look at that, you know? Look at that, boys and girls. Oof. That was savage. That was really I can't right now. Uh -uh. No, get the Detecting abnormalities. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. The people were released and escaped. Huh. Interesting, okay. Cool, guys, you know, look at that. Um and please, you know, uh, here representing the Night City Yoga class. Uh, the, you know, that's the, that's the spirit, you know, that's the spirit. Look at this, look at this. Night City Yoga class. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, some loot, cool. Arcade conversation between Zeitgeist and George. Got a problem. Sure fucking do, it's supposed to be done already. Client's getting anxious. Just listen. Well, underestimated those Kirwasha runners. Meaning what? Can Haggik externally got a closer jag into the local subnet directly? So why the fuck we're talking about it? Just do it. Someone's gonna, gonna cover me when I jack in, meaning like we double the rate. I'll ask. Client will pay, just get it done. Preem. Well. Yep. This is what happened here. Huh. I, I, I really like, you know, the fact that you just have so many, like, different locations with, like, completely different feel in a night city. So, for instance, this place, right? It's just, like, uh, this kind of, like, a Japanese type of garden, but in California. So, that's why you have the palm trees. But in the same time, you have this kind of, like, a traditional pieces of architecture, you know. Um, uh, like, as you can see, like, very often on uh, Japanese, uh, like, graveyards and so on. Uh, really cool uh, mix of different things and so on. And still, you know, you have this, like, cyberpunk elements and so on with these gigantic fans. So, interesting, interesting spot in general. Uh, no, guys. Um, okay, I think that we still have, like, a few more minutes. So I could look at this. Reported crime to play with fire. Go to the side guides then. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Let's see basically what happens. Oh, it's there? Huh. How I can actually get there? Because it's uh, probably a different direction. <laughs> Check containers? Like, you mean like these containers that are here? I got like, athletics bonus from running, by the way. Ooh. Wow, somebody got shot. Chunk Queen and Barbara Klein. Hmm. Promising? From what we can tell from the docs. Hard to say without the preliminary test. These seeds aren't promising. They are revolutionary. I'll remind you, we are discussing tomatoes. Whose yield forming potential in essentially limitless, they're practically immune to every past biotechnica is making a big mistake if it doesn't purchase them. A mistake that competitors won't repeat. Uh, can you remind me which research facility, facility you represent? None. Why is that even irrelevant? Uh, because genetic modification uh, without the proper licenses is uh, illegal in Nine City. And uh, besides, we don't do black market deals. Uh, but we are obliged to confiscate your modified seeds as evidence. You can't do this. Is that so? Yeah. You can see that, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, a sad thing happened. Sad thing happened. But you know, it's such a nice, cool, uh, small, cool, uh, small piece of a story uh, that you as a player can find here. 
Um, okay, guys, uh, go to the Tsykites then, then. Let's do this. And she's dead. Yeah, she is, unfortunately. Uh, Pinky Julian, yeah, have a nice night. Have a nice night. Uh -huh. Okay. Can you guys hear the... Can you guys hear the... Um, flies? Hmm. Messages. Easy ads. George to Zeitgeist. Thievery. Steal data from Kiroshi Project. Location details. Go to Klein, one of those anonymous shadowy types. Sure, the BBS says he keeps his word and pays right. Anyway, needs a runner to check the Kiroshi server. Client wants the data for Project HJA5789. Heard it's some super secret, super next-gen shit. Okay, we know it's tomatoes, right? Didn't check that much else. You are better at that anyway. Um... Anyway, don't let me doubt, Chum. Could be our big break. No more wiping pretty scop of NCPD servers for us. Okay. Electric ban. Okay. Metaphoric gate. Pacifier crafting specs. And then list uh, of objects. Something like that. Like, oh, let me check. List of tasks. Hmm. Jennifer Borton, reporter for NFC, uh, News 54. Footage of hair with lover, do not release yet, paid. Wow, okay. Martin Brown, manager at Mizutani. Caught him flogging the log on cam. Do not release yet, be paid. He paid. <laughs> Billy from NCPD, footage of him cheating on his wife. Release, paid, but he's a cop, so, so fuck him. <laughs> oh god this week grab more recordings from corpo comps at kiroshi and yeba um got some orders for them already paid for cool you know you can see how you know they were uh dealing with some dirty dirty stuff here uh, in this location okay i'm glad that we have done this uh damn guys um i i think the cleaning here is doing is going pretty fairly well uh, you know, so I think that we'll be slowly up, uh, slowly wrapping up the, the stream. And like next time, you know, we'll just move on uh, with another part of a city and another piece of side quests. Yep, that's, I think, that I think, I think makes more sense. Um, I'll just uh, run in here and I guess uh, grab my bike and uh, save. Uh, and then uh, I guess we are done. Yep. Cool. Okay. Okay, guys. I think that that would be it. You know, uh, for today's uh, for today's uh, stream, uh, we I will switch now just for a moment to some questions, and um, mm, I will switch now to some questions. Sorry, I by I, I almost accidentally turned off the tw uh, you know uh, Twitch Studio. That would have been sad uh, to do that. Um, and some music at the background. Guys, it was a really cool stream, uh, you know, like, uh, I'm not sure how you are feeling about, like, having additional one hour um, of the stream. I kind of like it, like, uh, you know, a lot of people stayed uh, to, to watch, so we'll see basically how it goes. Uh, thank you so much, um, you know, uh, Ayano and Kogito for uh, the, um, for the, uh, for the modding today. Uh, there's a question, when there's the Saskaton, oh god, <laughs> it's just like... Well, <laughs> it's Saskacon. Yes, uh, sure. Like uh, eventually, um, e eventually. Uh, you greatly enjoyed the extra hour. Uh, thank you. I'm, I'm glad. You know, like I'll, I'll, uh, I promise I'll try to improve. You know, I'll do my best to actually like, um, yeah, do better stuff uh, for you guys and so on. So, um, and I, I know I will, but um, I can tell you everything now, so you will find out. Um, why was Pan Am's romance scene the only one out of the others to be cut short and unfinished? And not finished later as was hinted at. I'm not sure what you mean. 
by that. Um, but I do not uh, think that the Panam scene has been cut short in any way or unfinished for for uh, for that matter. I, I don't really know what you exactly meant um, by that, uh, but yeah. Uh, Jade Raymond wrote, I tweet something to your retrospective. Hope it will be useful. Oh, uh, that's awesome. Uh, actually, thank you so much uh, for this. Guys, because like um, talking about this topic of the retrospective, I wanted to point you out to uh, one of my threads regarding um, um, regarding the, uh, you know, uh, cyberpunk quest. So as some of you know, like I mentioned it already, I I'm like preparing, uh, you know, like a bigger... Um, how to say it, retrospective for my whole uh, my team but uh, it will be also for other narrative teams and um, what I wanted to do there I wanted to look back at cyberpunk the same way as we did in the uh, the Witcher 3 and like learn on everything we did well and what we didn't and improve uh, and basically set up some new goals for the team so that all, all, all of us can improve um, because it's not easy it's 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 you know it's it's not easy to just like keep going and just like expect you know eventually it's gonna be uh eventually it's gonna be fine and whatever uh you just need to you know um i think consciously keep trying to improve to really improve uh like if you are like just yolo playing and you know um uh, in, in like learning and um and, and working you will improve but you will improve so much more when there is this conscious effort focused on improvement um and uh yeah it's basically like um there's lots of different books you know like for instance the mastery by robert genie like that mastery uh, book talks about one thing which is like we improve the most when we are doing conscious effort to um improve with a focus on the thing that you want to improve so let's say i don't know you want to become a better uh, runner or a better football player it's great when you like play more football and so on and train but it's best when you actually take make goals for yourself and be like okay this time around i don't know I'm, I'm gonna run 10 kilometers let's say every second day um to improve my stamina and then for instance i will keep on training i don't know like the, the dribbling you know and you focus on your um weaknesses so this is what i want to do i want to focus on our weaknesses and um i'm not right now pasting on the chat like basically a link to the uh tweet that i put out uh, the tweet that is about the um, this exact um this exact topic so basically uh, the quest team retrospective about like different narratives and so on i really want to um give you guys this uh I really want to look back at it and, and make sure that we are giving you with whatever next we will be working on something even even better quality. Um, yeah. Is there a way to submit our feedback without Twitter? Huh. I mean, the Twitter is the best because it's the simplest really uh, for all of us. Um, and in the same time, you also see the uh, you also see the feedback for all other players that put it there and it's also kind of organized because of that so yeah a uh, creep slasher i think the choices and consequences are done uh, done well in cyberpunk but yes there should be uh, a bit more balance in regards to telegraphing as more casual players may miss out on them yeah exactly that's like one of the very simple conclusions that we had um did you see my feedback with regards to quests in reply to retrospective team? Of course I did. Of course, I mean, at least before the stream, I had almost 500 people that uh, tweeted at me uh, with different things. And I did that and it, it's good. Uh, but um, the... Um, uh, and and I, write, I read it, I read the feedback. So it's great that there is so much of it. Uh, so definitely, Creep Slasher, I do not remember exactly what you wrote because there were so many different people, but I definitely remember your nick. So, yeah. Sounds like spreadsheet in the making. No, please. Just uh, as much as I understand, like, I don't want to do it like like this. Because, like, I just want p people to, like, write the way they feel, you know. Um, and it's a very, I would say, skewed way of testing it. But I have my own perspective as well, right? Like, um, I I've been working on, you know, making quests for, uh, for 16 years now. Um, so I sort of have my own perspective and see basically what has been done well and what hasn't been but i also want to check if my um assumption 
is correct. And I also want to make sure that the biggest problem, that problems that I perceive as big problems are actually the biggest problems, are not something that is my delusion. So, is expansions going to be to be sequel? There are so many um, unanswered questions about this story. Uh, well, <laughs> I won't be talking too much about the future right now here. So, no comment on this, okay? Um, I think uh, Act 1 does a really good job of getting uh, new people interested in the world of Cyberpunk. That was basically the, the reason, you know? Like, Cyberpunk as a genre is a rare, you know? And, then th and that means that um, we need to put a lot of work into making sure that players really get smooth experience and people who actually are like really good in like understanding what the certain um lore is and how it works will also it, it, it will also feel great for them and it will also feel great for people that are uh new so for people who know it and for people who don't you know and it's it's a difficult feat to achieve especially with a, a lore so rich as cyberpunk is okay guys I think this is it. Uh, we'll be wrapping it up. It's time for us. I wanted to mention a few things, a few people. First of all, Cogito. Uh, Cogitos, thank you so much uh, for modding. Uh, Cogito is a member of our community um, uh, who uh, who agreed to uh, be a mod and support us. Uh, Ayano, thank you so much for uh, um, modding, as always. Uh, Ayano is our UI producer, and you can find her in my recommended streamer, uh, streamers. And thank you to all the Reds that came over here during the day. Uh, there's Chivok, our customer support specialist. Uh, Stealth Spell, uh, who's the Spina. Iso Ero. Uh, Ero is our quest designer. Iso Muzzy. Muzzy is our uh, acting lead art QA. Um, I think those are all uh, that have been here uh, this time. Um, as as reds or at least those that say uh, that say hi um anyway guys we'll see each other in a uh, one week from now um and we'll continue the story uh this time hopefully sapphire uh, who's my girlfriend ho hopefully sapphire is going to be with us as i said she is uh traveling right now with her family and she's sending you guys greetings she told me to greet all of you from her uh so yes yeah, so she's gonna be with us uh, next week uh now Thank you so much, and um, I will leave you with this song, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, have a wonderful rest of the day, and see you in one week. Bye-bye.